All right, hello and welcome. We are going to be playing the Gloomhaven RPG today, which is very exciting. I am excited. Unlike some of the other sessions you may have seen, we are going to be setting this in Frosthaven. Oh. But before we launch right in, I do want to give the people at the table a chance to introduce themselves. Let's start on this side, and we'll go around from there. Yeah. Hi, I am uh, in real life. Yes. I'm Laura Stringer. That's right. AKA Laura from work. <laughs> uh, and I am playing a Valrath sooth singer. That's right. Named Josh Groblin. Okay. okay. Uh, whose pronouns are he, him. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, can I go into a little bit of oh, absolutely. Please. who he is? So Josh Groblin is your mom's favorite nice young man. Mm -hmm. uh, just mm -hmm. sings beautiful songs with a rich tenor that has like the vitality of a baritone. And yet mm -hmm. it's it's so much higher. His range is unbelievable. Yeah, rich. He likes to sing, his 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 milieu is very much the uh you know the the kind of stuff that's just catnip to middle aged mommies, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and mm -hmm. and um, you know very young girls, uh, right. because you know when you're reading when you're just discovering romance but you don't know what else lies behind it, a man singing a popular love song but in a foreign language, mm -hmm. incredible. It's kind of upmarket. Yes, uh, so he has an incredible career behind him a little bit because Josh. Uh, Started out his career, had a pretty high trajectory, yeah. disappeared one day. We're not really sure why. Just sort really? of stopped hearing from him. Interesting. And appeared five years later in Frosthaven. So this is like an Avril Levine situation where at some point was replaced by a government psyop. Yeah. Well. Well, I mean, you may be closer than you think. In the case Come of our eyes. friend Josh. <laughs> Uh, his, he's not, obviously he's not selling out arenas like he used to be. Mm -hmm. It's no. Frosthaven, they don't have one. Right. Uh, but the people who come away from his concerts uh, say that there's a frightening intensity to <laughs> him now. Oh, wow. There's a very different vibe. Oh, wow. The passion that is it's inside of his, his song weaving um, does things to people that they aren't really fully processing yet. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. So that's who Josh is. Okay, well that's um, that's that's going to be longer than mine. Um, Sorry. No, I'm not <laughs> mad. But let's say that Frosthaven, let's say that the arena at Frosthaven mm -hmm. is called The Hole. It is a hole. And it is because it is a hole. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, now. Uh, oh, the crater. Yeah, yeah. Ex ex yeah. exactly. There's exactly. planks yeah. laid into <laughs> the wall. Yeah. Caldera situation. Yeah, just, yeah. Um, a lot of mist. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, this is uh, Jerry Holkins. Uh, Tycho Brahe, Omen Drawn, uh, Stavron Otho. But today, uh, <laughs> in uh, in the realm of Frosthaven, uh, Oren Stavros, uh, late from the Ooh. PAX Unplugged stage, <gasps> back back at it. Recurring character. Recurring character. Don't call it a comeback. Yeah, exactly. He's been here for years. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a he him situation. Most people won't admit to being in Frosthaven for years. That's no. good. <laughs> no, exactly. That's but there is a so reason um, that he has uh, spent the kind of time that he has up here. Um, and I mean, obviously, he's a, a small business owner. Um, he is ready to leverage his contacts, his finesse, and his friendships uh, to pick up coin wherever possible. Uh, it's a hard scrabble life up up north, but there's a reason that he's here, um, and that is because he thinks he is at the end of a long journey. Um, he knows that there was a shipment, a lost shipment of a uh, rare and wondrous figurine. Something like, they're not all garden gnomes, but some of them are garden gnomes. Um, and they are called Winkies. And uh, Oren Stavros is missing three from the entire collection. And as I suggested, he has, through his contacts, he's learned that there was a shipment that might have been lost on the way north. Incredible. And so he is here waiting for these Winkies to materialize. And in the meantime, he's just making sure that he has the money to, to buy them when they do. He's come here to the last blockbuster. <laughs> exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Incredible. But do you have any? Do you also like Winkies? Oh, I also. It should oh. be established that it's not. A, it's not a solo thing. When no. I was talking about friends, I mean, I'm talking about a very specific friend, um, and that's Socket. Yes. And Socket, <laughs> uh, you know, ha Socket can speak for themselves. I mean, that's. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Socket is a raccoon dog 
Vermling, Mind Thief. Um, at some point, they I think we have they have like a very uh, traumatized past. She goes by she, they, it, him. <laughs> she doesn't care. Gender's stupid to her raccoon dog brain. Um, she doesn't have time for it. No. She doesn't have time for it. She has money to make. Um, and she likes knickknacks and things that sometimes people throw away. She has a hand in finding them a lot. Um, and she was uh, kind of like taught to speak by her demonic master at one point. So she's kind of got a demonic debt that Oren took on. So mm. there there's go. like, that's the employee. There's like a, there's like a hierarchy oh. there a little bit. So kind does she of rent it out. Like, does she essentially have like an infernal accent? A little bit, yeah. Wild. And it manifests with a very clear enunciation. And that's how she talks. Um, and yeah, she puts things in her mouth. Uh, she can like store it in Storage. her cheeks. That's and a dry pouch moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's really good at stealing stuff. And she heard about this winky shipment. Yeah. She, she may it have to had yeah. a hand in that shipment going missing. Oh, and that's the part. The, dude, this is, this backstory is rich. That's yeah. the part that we're not going to get into. No, it's not important. Here, don't but, worry about it. Here, now, Socket, in yeah. Diablo terms, yeah. how many... How many squares? Yeah. Mm. How much inventory space is in these <laughs> jowls? Fourteen. So seven on each, or are we talking like you know? There's uh, a problem no, and ten there's on more, one side. Yeah, oh. there's right. more on one side. Okay. There's eight on one side and six on the so other. Oh, okay. So not yeah. like wildly so. We're yeah. not talking ten yeah. and four. Yeah, and then Great. one is rectangle like shaped, oh. and the other one's more vertical. Really? Oh, I mm. love that in Diablo terms. So like. <clears throat> Like battle axe, and then you know something yeah. more no, sideways. That's incredible. Yeah, I lost my hardcore character yesterday, so thank you uh, for uh, listen. I'm sorry. Bringing to, that thank up. you for farming. Sorry to, sorry to poke <laughs> you. Yeah, thank you for uh, with that. Yeah, that's, I was gonna try to play board games to get away from. <laughs> but it's fine. Losing my hardcore right. character. No, in does Diablo, does but. Socket have any employees? Yeah, Socket hired Bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm Isaac Childress. Um, and my character is an orchid tinkerer named Burge Brumble. He's a very old orchid tinker, doesn't really move very quickly, doesn't really talk very quickly, um, but he's an excellent manservant. The best that you will find anywhere. Um, but he finds uh, very uh, interesting uh, bosses, um, just shows up working for people you wouldn't expect such a fine manservant to work yes. for, but he comes in and he gets the job done. He is very dedicated to his profession, and uh, he is there to facilitate you. He's there to make sure you do the thing that you want to do. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to sit in the background and, and make sure that it happens. I'm assuming this is not for pay. This is just his calling. <laughs> and there's a mystical element to it. It's like a Mary Poppins, like you come in with your umbrella. With an umbrella. And then you're just like. Some kind of tinker thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you just, you, you come in and you're like, here you are. Like you arrive with a towel yeah. on your arm with a fucking tray. I assume it's like Mary Poppins with the version from Venture Brothers. Oh, yes. That's like, Henry what's his name? Ninja. Henry Killinger and Magical bag. Murder Bag. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. He's a proud papa. <laughs> oh, no, I should, I should establish, because I, I mean, I'm a human silent knife. Everybody else, holy knife. everybody else, silent knife, holy knife. Everybody else did their thing. I didn't do the thing. I, I did the thing now. And um, <laughs> so, I mean, when you would, as soon as combat started, you would have recognized the cards. But anyway, yeah. So you're, you're religious? Then? Deeply so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and my religion is winkies. Got it. Good. Oh, you're a winky knife. No, it, it, it's the, it's, I'm looking for the, the trinity, essentially. Mm. Oh my God. Uh, and I'm going to find it. The Princess Diana Winky. <laughs> well, uh, I'm Alexander Theo Harris, and I'll be your gloom master today. And like I said, we're going to be starting off in Frosthaven. So we have the map laid out in front of you. Those of you at home, it's the same map that uh, you would expect. That's gorgeous. Well, yeah. indeed, and uh, this is also my map from my home games. So. Yeah, and to the extent uh, that there was any rails, I can assure you, we are already off them. Okay. Woo! Yeah. So. Well, I, I did come up with a very bizarre niche <laughs> hobby. And uh, I, I yeah, felt that's going to be all consuming from here on out. I felt strongly <laughs> that, that that would confound any mm -hmm. any attempts. Mm -hmm. All right, it is a summer morning in Frosthaven, the frozen outpost well north of any reasonable civilization. 
You spend half a year fighting off massive Algox raiders, terrifying creatures from the deep, yes. and robot hordes. Mm -hmm. You spend the other half of the year questioning what could possibly make it worth it. This morning reconfirmed that you may not be cut out for this. You were defending a group of loggers outside of the outpost gates. They were gathering lumber to help with construction after a particularly uh, devastating attack last week. Unfortunately, someone strayed too close to a riverbank and was snatched off by lurkers. You tried to help, but you were lucky to make it back to the gates with your lives. Yeah. The loggers were less lucky. So uh, you you'll, head to the downer here, Thea yeah. Harris. Yeah, <laughs> you head to the one reputable spot to find a drink in town: the Crater. It's a burned-out building where the old tavern used to be. There's no walls, no real tables, just some tarps strung up to keep the chill off. Residents have pulled together random furniture, dressers, crates, and the like, and while it's become a BYOB affair, most are willing to share. Nice. It's still morning, but there's a mix of people who are out fairly early and those who haven't yet closed out for the night. You find a, a seat on a set of barrels around a charred bookshelf. What do you do? Well, I mean, I'm gonna, I have to make it seem cool. I have to, like, not freak out. But the idea that a lot of the random assemblage of ancient furniture has been brought over here and heaped up makes me think that there might be something maybe that someone forgot in one of these. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just leaning against a dresser, but just very quick, absent-minded, just kind of looking You're around. You're looting. Yeah, we are, uh, yes, I'm looting. I am yeah. looting the the only place that people go to for comfort. Mm. Yes, yeah, okay. or, or attempting to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we'll we'll see. I'm trying to hear that telltale roll uh, of a winky as I pull out these yeah. drawers. Okay, give me a, give me a little flip. Uh, we're gonna call that a uh, focus, focus check. Well, that's uh, my worst uh, possible one. Here we go. Oh, how about a three? Yeah. Three. Uh, you, and you focus do... one, and then this is three. Yeah, so you so four total? Indeed. So you rummage through some of these dresser drawers here. It seems like it's been mostly picked over. Uh, anything that would have been in here was probably long forgotten. Uh, yeah. It's, uh... it's mostly ice, honestly. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. But I mean, I, I, I gave it the old, I gave it the old try, and it's mm -hmm. like, I would have, if, if I had, if this had been it and I had not looked, mm -hmm. I would have been kicking myself the rest of my life. So yeah, makes sense. While you're looking, I think socket is uh, trying to make some type of Everclear rock gut situation out of discarded apple cores that <clears throat> she's oh, collecting. What well, that are still that have been kept yeah. fresh. Yeah, just like it out yeah, so body. just like coming out and like into and like a into massive glass jar, or I'm trying to make some type of probably with your help some type of. Liquor, with well, some kind yeah, of a distiller. I've, I've put a very lovely cup of tea right in front of you. <laughs> uh, and I am looking a little insulted um, that you haven't touched that at all. Yeah, and you're I'm going to make, straight for the liquor. I'm trying to yeah. make garbage water here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like 10 a.m. Yeah. I yeah. learned not to reach for the tea that is offered someone else because oh, I will no. get a stern look from you no. and it hurts. Because no. if I, if I can tell that the help is disdainful of me, mm -hmm. it does actually wreck my shit. Yeah. <laughs> Because it, I, it burrows in. I need desperately to be superior to them, but I know I'm no better. Uh, yeah. So I, I mostly just like look towards you, towards the tea, <laughs> towards you and the tea, and wait for maybe a polite offer as well. What I'm also doing between darting back is scanning the room mm. for my, uh, my general, my fans, people who like me. Your, your public, yeah, my public. What's my public like today? Are they, are they in attendance? So uh, it's, it's. Relatively sparsely attended. You do okay. see a few notable figures. There is a, a donkey with some barrels hanging off of it in the corner. Yeah. Oh, Grant. I know him. Uh, yeah. yeah. Grant the, the donkey. Yeah, he's great. Um, you do see that there are some drunks, some of which seem to be sleeping. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 10 a.m. Yeah, mm -hmm. early early on, yeah. And uh, you do notice out of the corner of your eye someone who looks like they're walking up with some level of determination. It is the mayor of the town, Mayor Satha. Has, have I seen Satha at my concerts before? You have not. Mm -hmm. Well, then that just means it's an opportunity. No, exactly yeah. right. Exactly. Well, right. I do believe that the drunks would be more. One has to consume rather a copious amount of liquor for your performance to be bearable. That's an interesting thing to say. <laughs> How's that rot gut coming? I, I 
And I'm going to stand up and say, I Mayor am. Sotha, how are you? She does not look like she is thrilled to see you guys. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> We're so great! You know, how, who, how old is Marisatha? Uh, she's like mid thirties. She's yeah. a human. So Tough. just just entering into my purview, but very much. Mm -hmm. resistant. Yeah, she might be like a closet resistant, fan. resistant yeah. to yeah. my charms. Exactly. She, she has be yet to, to become as comfortable and relaxed in herself. Yeah, she is it. probably not the most comfortable, relaxed person you've met. She is running an outpost in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's a it's a hard scrabble life. It's a Really, it's a state of mind. Yeah. Well, she sits down and she gives you a piece of her mind. Uh, I offer her a cup of my fermented core apple. Fluid? Fluid. It is the crater, so she does take... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's... it's Don't tell her I fermented milk. it in my cheeks. Don't tell her that. <laughs> she does take that as she's talking to you. She says, what happened to the loggers this morning? Fate has an interesting way of working its magic, don't you find, Marisoth? How do you like the uh, Applejack? She does try it. Cinnamon? <laughs> oh, it's incredible. It's yes, resplendent please. with cinnamon. Where did you find cinnamon up here? Don't ask questions of our friend. <laughs> it's better not it's, to. It's just a little, little, little shrug. This is and I'm strangely nice. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I say, uh, Mayor, I mean, we did Absolutely everything that we could, but lurkers are quite large, and the the contingent of the contingent of able-bodied soldiery um, that we could apply to this task was 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 not significant. I think, which that, is why we sent you. Well, and I and I can appreciate that 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 was true, but these crabs are. I can't stress it enough. They're, they're quite large. This is not a normal... Mm. The scope was not what we were paid for. Mm. You were paid to protect the loggers so that they could bring back the lumber so that we could rebuild. Mm. You have failed to do that. Well, Mercenaries take tasks, then do those tasks for money. You took money and then didn't do those tasks. Yeah. I, 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 I think that... I think this is why you're the mayor. I mean, this you is, have such honest eyes. It's succinct. It's 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 incredible. I feel every word of what you're saying, and it's so valid. <laughs> oh no! You need to pull your weight around here, or I am going to throw you outside the gates. Mm. Well, that's where the lurkers are. So yes, mm. I would prefer to remain. What does pulling one's weight entail? When you're assigned a task, based on don't let your trials. charges die. Mm. What if, perchance, our charges did not run very fast when asked to do so? Yeah, you know, personal responsibility. So socket, I really? Got away. Yeah. The next time this happens, I want to make sure that you don't get away and your charges do. Have I made myself clear? I, they did not. Run yeah, fast. it's a, and I think that that's that's a non-zero factor. Um, they might have been they might have been too tired from from all the logging. I'm not a man of numbers, but I feel that us four were not quite sufficient to push them. There were not there were too many of the loggers. Get your axe together, <laughs> or I will throw you out myself. Oh. And make sure that you send another barrel of whatever that was <laughs> to my house. If it means that we will be square, it does not the within the hour. And she gets up and walks off. <laughs> <on. laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you I gotta get, get start you massaging gotta, your face. You, you, gotta, you gotta get to work. It's like just get open. Like let's get you up on the scope. There's gotta be some more in there. Get a paw in there. Uh, I I hate being spoken to that way, and I, I don't like I it at all. It. Is there? A, is, is, love it. We share. We share this. Finally, we share this. I just watch her walk away, and then we like lock eyes for a moment, and then we don't. <laughs> just, just the clarity, the purpose. Now, um, is is there a? Uh, how do we typically receive jobs from Mayor Satha? So uh, sometimes you'll head over to the town hall where they have uh, a character there named Glint, mm -hmm. uh, who will provide jobs as needed. Uh, sometimes you talk with Captain Olmstead at the barracks, who will assign you a role. And sometimes people just happen to come up in the crater and ask for some help. 
Okay, so the process the process here, this is a good place to... This is a pretty decent place. To observe, yeah. to get jobs, to be central. Yeah. In fact, somebody starts coming up right now. Oh, man, this is, this is incredible. At this, 10 this, in the morning? Are they one of mine? At 10 in the morning. That's my crowd. <laughs> wow. You a, have no idea. It's a 10 a.m. friend. Absolutely. Orin! Is that you? Oh. Or, Orin and Bramble? Burge? Burge Bramble. Burge Bramble and Orin. Yeah. How have you guys yeah. been? It's well, me, Zane, your old oh, friend. Oh, great. Yeah, I actually, I literally know this guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I keep telling people. I said, what brings you to Frosthaven? <laughs> oh, I don't want to get into all that. It was just a little bit of a money problem. Uh, I end oh, up having to... earmuffs. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, I'm helping just, massage. Just, but they're very <laughs> large and ostentatious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just pink. It's it's a it's an invention. I'm, I'm meditating. <laughs> Boy, it is so fortuitous that I uh, ran into you guys, because uh, you know I could use some help uh, with a little bit of an issue. Well, we are well placed uh, in Frosthaven. We have the ear of the mayor. Uh, things have actually been things have been looking up for us. But ever, you ever like since we got here. you don't need to tell everything to the mayor, right? Well. Uh, I would be more than happy to just fill my entire mouth with coins. And then I think it'd be difficult to understand what I was saying. So consider that. No, it would not. One simply has to arrange them in the proper manner and Dry one pouches. can fill yeah, well, the cheeks and still speak it's very, simple. very clearly. What, what, what I'm saying is that is that silence is certainly on the menu of services oh, we provide. Oh, he demands a bribe, you ridiculous man. Oh, okay. okay. How dare you? I don't. <laughs> okay, I feel like we got off on the wrong foot here. I thought I was just chatting with some old friends. You know, could ask for like a little bit of a favor. <laughs> uh, a favor? Yeah. Oh, you know, because, just... you know, last time things worked out pretty well, and, uh, you know, you guys lived Favors and all. Favors and... are for parties. Yes, yes. I, I think that that's, you, you have to understand, our stature here in Frosthaven is such that uh, we certainly can't be seen to be working for favors. Are you a singer? Oh, You've got no. that singer oh. kind of face. Oh no, this is, oh no. I, I, uh. <laughs> I am now nervously washing my hands in the cup of tea that has been placed before me. Josh, Josh is gonna melt down. How's the rod cut coming? Is it I, ready to deliver? I have no more apples in my cheeks. You oh. asked me to stop picking up half-eaten refuse. Mm. I'm a little bit toonsome, I've been called. Yeah? You've got that chiseled look to you. Terribly kind. Who are you? Oh, you know, I, I dabble. I, I have actually helped with some music promotion in the past, and I, you know, if you want to chat later, I'd be... There is a, a small matter I need to, uh, to get through first. I was hoping you could help me with that. Is your circus lost? <laughs> is there a grift you should be running somewhere nearby? Uh, <laughs> that Perhaps is... a carnival! You, you... Where you need to be barking. That, what? Instead of up this particular no, I was a ticket side. seller at the carnival. So thank you. You, you really penetrated uh, Zane's defenses quite quickly, and I, I'm imp I'm impressed by this. Now I'm gonna rest, <laughs> relax, and enjoy the show. You got another zinger, don't you? So in entertainment, we like to do things seriously. It's a frivolous business, but we like to take each other seriously, and we take our work deadly seriously. Boy, you have. Quite an intense countenance. Where I come from, we are plain speaking. We say what we want, when we want it, and we don't beat around the fucking bush. Now, are you gonna tell us what you want, or are you gonna go tell your story walking? As I hope you've done. Before. So you watch this orchid just sort of shrinking. Yeah, in yeah, on yeah. Itself. It's like me, I am yeah. starting to feel intimidated. Like, I feel like I should unburden myself. Somehow. Yeah, I, I, I think Saka just says, where I come from, instead of drinking coffee in the morning, we have it at night. <laughs> That's just what you, you just decide to say this? <laughs> yeah, because you're saying where I come from. <laughs> you're like, I'm also, hello. Yeah, I, I've also got some great I facts a, I can share. Yeah, yeah. I've taken a note on that, so uh, <laughs> yes. we'll have some coffee. This night time. Yeah, tonight it's going to be coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I was uh, hoping to, to, to hire you if uh, the favor bit doesn't work out. For All what? Right. Yeah, we've, we've, we've moved to the next phase. Well, oh boy. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a doozy. Try me. Oh. 
Or rather, try us. <laughs> try or me. after all, selling to all of us. Well, These are the forms of currency I accept. <laughs> Coins, foodstuffs, writing utensils, paper, eating utensils, antiques, winkies, pieces of antiques. Oh, winkies. Pieces of wink. What? <laughs> Why? Did I, just nobody up here seems to care about winkies. That's. I just. Uh, <laughs> just we. Do you, do you have a winky? We. As compensation. Don't. Not. Like winkies. Why don't you guys come back to my house and nobody freaks out when we walk into my house? Can we just all agree on that? Well, I, I, I would like to hear more about the Winkies. Yeah, but I, I really want to focus on the not freak out when we walk into my house, right? Okay. Uh, okay. How much will you pay us not to freak out? I accept the following <laughs> forms of currency. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I've, I, I, have, I have been destabilized by this by this mention. And I think that, I mean, before I was, I had full defenses against Zane. Uh, my previous dealings with Zane haven't, you know, been 100%. And now that I think that he might be connected to something that is of supreme value to me, now I, I find my countenance soft. I know this. I know there's no separating you from it. And so I have completely disengaged. My brain is turned off, and I'm just looking at you and waiting for you to say yes. Yeah, I see. Well, when will we? Uh, when is a good time? Well, I mean, if you guys are willing to walk over right now, it's yes. uh, it's probably important that we do this uh, quickly. Yes, that's that's uh, is charming. It, uh, is it summer or winter? It, it is, is summer. summer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, this entire time, I've been uh, building a small contraption. Okay. Um, the whole conversation? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, and taking notes. I, I multitask. Yeah. Um, so this contraption I've created uh, to just kind of like roam around Frosthaven uh, and, and just suck up various knickknacks. It's like a Roomba? Uh, okay. Yeah. Various <coughs> really shiny rocks, knickknacks, basically whatever I think uh, that a socket would like. Oh. And uh, I've also calibrated it to, to also look for apples. Uh, yeah, because I, I think that's important yeah. as well. Uh, so yeah, I just want to you know let you know I've, I've now set this uh, this contraption is now ready. Okay, I've, that I thing it on drives the ground. off. It's doing its thing, and I, I'm ready to, to head right. off to Zane's house. <laughs> You've as just well. built a small Roomba and <laughs> yeah. let it go, and yeah. now it's okay. We can yeah. continue with our day. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Nothing it's problematic fine. can happen from it's, this no, at it's all. It's been resolved. Yeah. It's fine. It's got it in hand. So you guys make your way across town from the crater. It's just a, a short five minute walk. Zane uh, actually posted up his house relatively close to the crater for unknown reasons. Uh, as you approach Zane's house, though, you notice two things. One. It looks like a tiny contraption robot beat you there and is currently uh, overstuffed. <laughs> just <laughs> overstuffed with knickknack. Excellent. Replete. Uh, and it, it looks like it's trying to get back to you, but it's just stuffed full of something. <laughs> and secondly, <laughs> you notice that all of the blinds are drawn on Zane's house. In the day at 10 a.m. In the day at 10 a.m. And despite that, there is still a visible bleed of light coming out. Okay, so now I, now we see where there might have been a time pressure. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is there anything we need to do to disarm the door? Or are you going to? So as a reminder, everybody agreed. <laughs> nobody's gonna freak out. Who's freaking out? I said nothing. But proceed. I'm just emptying my contraption and sorting the various <laughs> knickknacks. It, it looks yes. like a garage sale out yeah. front. <laughs> it looks like no uh, apples whatsoever. Mm, but inside you find just tons of winky pieces. <laughs> All of which look to be inferior quality. These are these are the the winky binkies, like the, mm -hmm. the small accessories. 
that go on winky bits. On the winky bits? Yes. There's winky yeah. bits. Okay. All of which don't look quite right. But okay, there's also so just these, like chunks of Winky. There's Winkies mm. and then there's Dinkies, the do little I, ones. Do I think that this Stinky device Winkies. hoovered up a Winky and then pulverized it inside its guts? It's it's possible. I feel I'm sick. Like new, sir. I, f- I will make it <laughs> like new. I I feel I feel sick. I, I mean, you I'm. See I, if you you take. No. The P- do you like do you like waver a little bit? Yeah. And I need to like support yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I kind of grab him. Like here. It's all right. Just don't don't. Give me another focus check. Oh no. Focus one plus three. Ooh. Four. Please roll to finish um, or not. Yeah. <laughs> you're pretty uh, well versed in Winky culture. Yeah. And Winkimobilia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Winkimobilia. And all, all the winka files. This winky just does not look right. Really, this, this is this is this is this is like a um, counter Yeah, it's a wish. Oh, These are the wish winkies. Yeah. This is like the. Oh, okay. I I breathe a sigh of relief, like hands on knees, hunched over, like no, don't don't worry about it. Don't don't fix these. These these are barely winkies at all. These are barely. Okay. okay. Nod. Uh, but still, I'm gonna work on recalibrating my machine so that that doesn't happen oh, in the future. Oh, we love what, God, we love winky. what we're here. God, that was a dark. That makes sense. <laughs> that was a dark. That was a dark moment. Okay, but now, uh, n- now that uh, it's a new day has dawned for for Oren Stavros. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I, I'm ready to. I'm ready to head like right up to the house. I'm seeing if I can peek in. The blinds and get a, yeah, a it's, get it's a glimpse. Pretty bright in there. Is there noise coming from it? No, totally okay. silent. I mean, I was hoping like the FAO Schwartz, like welcome to our hearts kind of shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> so uh, Zane looks at you one more time, mm-hmm. just visually confirms that everyone is prepared, and then he opens the door and ushers you guys to inside as quickly as he can. I, yeah, I mean, I I absolutely accept. I mean, I'll talk to him about counterfeit winkies later. Like, we'll, mm-hmm. we can cross that bridge when we come to it. You guys get inside. He shuts the door, makes sure the blinds are drawn tight. And you can tell that inside, you look around, there's, there's no candles lit. There's no it's just visible light, light source. Mm. But from the corner of the room, there's a sheet thrown over something. And that is just emanating light. It is like the sun behind a bed sheet. It is not a good... Uh, camouflage for what's coming out of this corner. What is the color and nature of this light? It's, it is genuinely like sunlight. Is it giving off oh. heat? You don't feel heat. Okay. okay. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to approach it. Yeah. Uh, and stand very close to it. I want to see if I can hear anything off it. Ooh. <laughs> so you I do like notice this. that the sheet is kind of undulating, Mm-mm. but really? no sound whatsoever. Totally motionless other than this sort Gentle of light. Gentle And no smell. You don't smell it. Not, not even hot fabric. No. Yeah. No. Mm. This is odd. I okay, say. So, Zane, uh, what have you gotten yourself into? Okay. So remember, nobody's freaking out. This is totally consensual. Yeah, everybody's Nothing is happening. Fine. Here. I hope so. I should hope so. And he pulls down the sheet, and sure enough, behind the sheet is a full-size sun demon. Uh, and I say, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Is the sun demon conscious? Yeah, yeah, it looks like he's awake. It's looking at you guys. Unrestrained. Okay. Josh has uh, his arms crossed, but he's just like. It is <laughs> It is staying totally motionless. It seems like whatever uh, prep work that Zane did with you to try to get you not to freak out. He's already, he's also done to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm gonna bring a bunch of people in here. And when I take the sheet off, I wanna make don't sure that you guys don't freak scream. out. Don't scream, you can't scream, okay? Uh, I say, I say, Zane, um, is this a friend of yours? So, mercenaries meet Sonny. Sonny, okay. mercenaries. Sonny, it's it's our it's our great pleasure. No reaction whatsoever. Okay, so he's not a talker. How did you meet Sonny? So, uh, yeah, some uh, I, I had a little bit of an issue Quickly. a ways back. I, long story short, Sonny got trapped in my belt buckle, and I got freed, and now he's a friend of mine, and. Oh I, uh, anyway, he needs help, and I figured that you guys could, uh, you know, help. What sort of help? Is he a chiropractor? Like, so he is like 
It massive, was huge. Right? He is I was say, basically we're hunched up over trying to fit in this room. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's not okay. heat coming off it, but he is bright. Yeah, yeah. He is bright. Um, and he goes, just, so the whole conversation is is being had like with our ha- arms in front of our yeah. faces, like this. Like it's clear that Sonny is trying to do what he can to prevent light. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eyes got big in a very out. small kind of Maybe situation. Maybe the tinker lens has just yeah. come down. Yeah. It's like you have a you have a built in solution yeah, for this. On. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's got the glasses that go flip. <laughs> Well, well, Sonny, do you want to explain it to them? And uh, and Sonny looks. Hold, at, Sonny begins to hold forth. <laughs> Sonny looks around the room and uh, he picks up what looks to be like uh, there's, there's boxes all over this room. Yeah. So Zane Zane hasn't really fully moved in. Well, mm-hmm. it seems like Zane's moved in, but he's also brought a lot of like um, inventory from well, yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, I know from where you see boxes of what looks like Winkies, but. But whatever the equivalent of like the TM at the end of Winkies, that's kind of missing. Like yeah. the font is a little off. Mm-hmm. Like there's boxes, floor Winkies to ceiling. Winkies with a Y stuff. instead of an I. Oh. I look at the heart shaped tags on some of these and I'm just like, Mm-mm. this is. That's an anatomical heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clearly yeah. not. Yeah. Your robot is going nuts. Like it is just trying to get into every single box. It's, it's it is just starting at the face. top. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a crap. It has to be like emptied every five minutes. Yeah. The yeah, whole yeah. conversation has to stop. <laughs> the sun demon. You just oh, hear give ying, it a ying, 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 It's ying. still like smashing things as oh it God. as it consumes. But <laughs> nobody's really concerned. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, the, and the fact of the matter is, is I need this stuff off the market. Yes. Yeah, so. All it's doing is depressing the price. I'm pulverizing it for you. Thank you. And this is, and this, I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember this. So Sonny uh, picks up what looks to be a trophy. It looks like uh, a martial arts trophy. Really? Yeah. And kind of picks it up and Zane goes, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. <laughs> He's got him. <gasps> All right, go ahead. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I you nerd. my goggles to. Uh, to filter the light further. Yeah, this specific light. Yeah, if you guys need stuff, uh, I could sell it to you. Like, yeah. I mean, I believe that you could. I think that you will attempt to do so for the duration of our relationship. <laughs> um, I say, Sonny, if, if if you would go ahead. No problem. I, uh, I produce more goggles uh, from <laughs> my pack and hand them out. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you've, you've already made several. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Is that gonna, <laughs> what a delight. You're going to put them on the inside of your other glasses? Oh my god, I would like the pink one. Now I'm we're talking. Excited. Yes. All right. They fit me so perfectly. <laughs> All right. All right, well, if you want, you know, like a higher quality version, I can sell those to you. Uh, well, no, I mean, I, I feel like this is going to, I feel like this is going to satisfy. Okay. So Sonny takes this trophy, and you see Sonny just kind of compresses the whole thing down. Whoa. Oh, it's not melting with heat, but it seems to it's be pressure. like almost lasering the whole thing until its its uh, hands obscure this thing entirely. And when it pulls them back, you can see that uh, it looks like a very fine sculpture of a bunch of sun keepers. So guardians of the great oak. So it looks like a beautiful sculpture of these things. And Sunny just kind of holds it out. An artist, yeah. Apparently, this is this yeah. has been a, a, a yes, very interesting morning. This so could far. go for quite a bit. My sticky little so hands. No. Mm. Sunny, are you yes. saying? Sunny, are you saying that you need an agent? Rather good. I'm looking at him like incredible there's a, likeness. There's a market. Do these sun keepers mean something to you? And Sunny doesn't seem to respond, but Saint says, "Yeah, Sunny says that there's these uh, sun keepers." That uh, passed away. Oh, mm. obviously we're... that would drive the value mm. up even further. Absolutely. I guess I don't know her. I thought I knew her. Yes. <laughs> so many faces. You know? And uh, Sunny is just holding this thing out as, as though it's going to tell the whole story. Basically, I, will... I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll pass it. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. You do so. Uh, Sunny then looks around the room and uh, grabs some grab something else some to belt shape. buckles and some other chunks of metal, and is just finding various things. And then, uh, once again, compresses, yeah, yeah. and you feel this big burst of light coming out from Sunny's hands, just like through the through the slits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Sunny 
pulls its hands back, and now there's a set of four grave markers. Oh. I take that one, and I'm just looking at him like, it's incredible. He says they were uh, friends of his or some such. Well, yeah, I mean, I, that definitely tracks. I mean, what what can we what can we do? I, I think that um, resurrection is not uh, on our menu of services. No. Out of character, can I see the names on the gravestones? Like how perfect is it? Is it that fine? Uh, it, it is that fine. There are not names on the gravestones. The okay. graves uh, you recognize as people of this world, but mm-hmm. they do not have names on them. It Copy. looks like they are marked with uh, various Sunkeeper accoutrements. Okay, so it's like, you know, sword in the ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. okay, okay. sacred artifacts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you do notice yeah. that one of them looks relatively winky-like. Oh, but one of the grave, one of the grave markers. One of the grave markers. Oh man, do I got a desecrated grave? Oh, yeah. Well. So I'm, I'm like looking at it. I'm like, <laughs> do you? Is it like a precious? Is it like a precious moments thing where there's like, a, a, a morphology to it? Is it like a little, oh, a little yeah. precious moments yeah. angel going like? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, you know, next to oh, it kind that, of shit. Oh, it's oh, very tableau like. Yeah. No, that's you right. know when you see. So I, I see that winky round under fucking umbrella. Head. Winky yeah. under umbrella oh, my, is so very So I see the umbrella rare. and I'm like. Very rare piece. Boring. Oh yeah, it, it's just like I, I'm, I'm trying I just, to exactly. I'm, I'm trying to make. I, I don't need Zane to know that I know. Oh yeah, it's more that I'm just like have about a look. This. It, it just, I just, I'm I just, being very subtle. Yeah, I just I give you. I just give you the like, the quick nod that's like yeah. it's been clocked. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just like, all right, who else wants to see? <laughs> and I, say, I say, does he does he want to does he want to go there? Does he want to? Watch over this site, and you see, Sonny is now running out of things he's that running, are metal around the room. He's running out of things like that are a lantern that are off the wall, and he, he's I, kind so of rummaging around. Oren Stavros has <laughs> in his inventory. Keep him away from my contraption. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Nope, nope. You got you to you run interference. Yeah. Um, Oren Stavros canonically carries thirteen knives in addition <laughs> to his the ones that he uses for his weapons. I'm going to hand him. Four of these knives. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah, Sonny happily takes uh, them. Uh, h- handle first, like a Boy Scout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. I, I, I'm not gonna have like four knives and be like, hey! and no. it's just like handle first, because just because I think that he'll be able to communicate something of value with this. Sonny totally takes it once again. You, even with the sunglasses, you feel like you yeah. have to. You gotta cover up your gaze. Like this is yeah. this this laser centering that's happening here is is significant, and uh, there's a, a a new tableau that's now here. And you can see that it looks like there are some uh, imps desecrating these graves. Oh. Oh. God. And you can see the things that were buried are now sort of scattered. They're, they're strewn. Mm. Yeah. And certainly if it was your grave, you would be upset. So it's no surprise that uh, Sonny is upset vicariously about well, this. Well, absolutely. And also, there's valuable collectibles there. I mean, this is the, this is the, this is the most twisted outcome possible. Been taken out of its original packaging. Exactly right. It's Is like this in character? Yeah, that's You're not, taking it off like it's mission control. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's not <laughs> mint. <laughs> and with that, Sunny kind of goes back to dormant. <clears throat> Absolutely. I say, I say, Zane, do you know? Uh, uh, are you enlisting our aid to help your sun demon friend? Because for you, this seems surprisingly pro-social. Or is it his demon son? Mm. Uh, so, so Sonny and I have had some business ventures in the past, business and uh, it would be most helpful if Sonny had all of oh, its problems solved so, so that we could depressed. get back to work. Yeah, I see. So, I see. So, because Sonny is sad, <sighs> he's not able to do all the things that is I helping build these. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, I winkies. grab some of the pieces of the winkies <laughs> yes. and I hand them to Sonny just to see what he does. Yes. Yeah, I so Sonny kind is. of takes it and compresses it, and lo and behold, it's like a perfect replica. Oh yeah, Winky. Yeah, so this is this is his counterfeiting machine. Mm. Well, there is an unlimited amount of use that we could have for such a device. Um and access to it would be supernatural. And I wouldn't even feel bad, because if we help this, if we help Sonny with this problem, we'll have a relationship with Sonny that's independent of Zane, and eventually maybe there won't be a Zane. 
So, you know, let's consider this. Let's consider this in the fullness of Josh time. has anything to say about it. But I, we'll I am still here, as just so everybody's <laughs> clear. Oh. In Frosthaven, people have a tendency to... Yeah. Disappear. Fire. Perish. Yeah. Yes. You guys gonna die on me? It's a forbidding climate. Yeah. I see. No, Zane, I, I, I you know, uh, I'd lean into the diorama and I say... Do you know where this is? Ah, so Sonny and I were talking about this earlier, and Sonny is totally happy to take you there. Oh, mm. well, that's... Small problem. Uh, well, you or would large problem. You would have to get Sonny out of Frosthaven. Mm. <laughs> ah, as it. a reminder, maybe uh, you, this is unfamiliar to you, but uh, Mayor Satha probably wouldn't take kindly to demons within the uh, outpost walls. Uh, other people in the city yeah, probably yeah. wouldn't take too kindly to it. Also, Mayor Satha and I are a little bit on the outs right now. Yeah. So, well, mm. yeah, um, mm. yeah. I mean, to a certain extent, uh, you know, we are not, you know, one hundred percent with her, and this is going to expose us to a pretty significant risk. I mean, we're we're very very nearly on the edge of exile ourselves, and this is a place that people get exiled to. So that uh, that would certainly be a black mark on uh, on oh our register. God. It might actually just work in reverse, and yeah. they'll send us back to where we yeah, want to. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, or maybe we get exiled and then end up getting exiled back. We'll like, get inciled. Yes, exactly. We'll we'll <laughs> cross that bridge when we come to okay. it. Okay. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I I think it's time to we we want to get some dimensions of Sunny. We want to see, and I'm I'm gonna walk over to Sunny. I'm gonna say, how small can you get? And Sunny kind of huddles down and loses easy four inches. Four, I mean four inches. Yeah, Sunny is ten feet tall. Oh yeah. Mm. All right. Well, this is this so is so cut into thirds. Yeah. No. 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 At no. 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 I mean, Josh. Merely from. Imagine the human body. Now imagine thirds. You see. Yes. Yes. But folded in thirds. All humans can fold in thirds. It's normal. But this is not a human. I I feel like well, I didn't have to bring that up. That's insufficient. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like I'm like actually I'm like kind of instructing him to like extend his legs. Um, Sonny is an it or a him? Yeah, Sonny is an it him. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm instructing it to extend his legs, and I'm like, you're right. The proportions are wrong. And I'm yeah. like, I pat I pat the leg and yeah, yeah. 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 Sonny is back. very compliant. Yeah. Like, whatever you're trying to do, Sonny is down for. <laughs> what if perhaps <coughs> instead of trying to obfuscate it's light, we instead hid it in plain sight. I knew of a puppeteer mm -hmm. in the Silver Cities mm -hmm. who could do incredible things at fantastic sizes, and I once performed alongside him. Mm -hmm. Now, it was, it was for a winter carnival, but I find that, you know, it's, it's a... Uh, how close are we to any sort of solstice? Yeah. Mm. I'm not really much of a party animal. I just look over at my manservant pointedly. Like, <laughs> I also look at him pointedly. Please give me all of your information. What's the calendar? Like? Oh, I bet uh, he's got a cool calendar. Oh, yeah. I pull out my calendar and uh, tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow sounds totally reasonable. <laughs> Incredible look. Oh, no. But is it like a mechanical calendar? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, there's various moving it's pieces. It's a fucking Rolodex? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. it's like an orrery Rolodex, an orrery Rolodex. And it's just like, boop, boop, and it's just like a little snow <laughs> burst. <laughs> there's tiny <clears throat> confetti that comes Perfect. out. Perfect. Now, incredible. Now, so if socket, we were to put yeah. on a play of some kind. <laughs> My repertoire includes so many solstice hymns. The play itself features a sun demon, mm -hmm. which we could... Pretend is somebody mm -hmm. in a sun demon costume. Mm -hmm. No, see, I, I think a this real is. Mm -hmm. And then Th there is a brought parade. Me so much joy. No, and there the has to be a parade. Goes through parade. the town to the outside of the town. It's a procession. And then the sunny is outside of the yes. walls instead of inside of the walls. It's a processional, dude. This is actually incredible. Can you? We do can... you have a float wave? Uh, of course. Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, touch your bosom, blow a kiss. It's an, it's a universal language. It's a universal language. <laughs> this is first year stuff, Socket. Um, 
No, we can take this wretched man's horrible home and reconstitute it as a float, thereby doing you a favor on the way. We simply have to take apart this entire house. <laughs> Sonny can here. help us. I, I live here. Refashion it. No, Sonny, Sonny can. Sonny can Refashion it into perhaps even just the roof, you know. Refashion it into a type of float whereupon I can stand performing mm -hmm. as I do. Hang on, I live here. This is my home. It is full of... And yet you're at odds with the local governance and That I leave. own, yes. mostly. And yet you're at odds with the local governance, can't live your life to the extent you wish, and don't plan on improving that situation at all, by the looks of it. Yeah. Roll an opposed influence check. I would love to. You ready to um, roll? Just grab top roll card. Roll with your cards. Live on my, roll with my cards. Roll with your cards. Five, baby girl, plus oh, three. Plus your influence? Ah! Yeah. So that's eight. Yeah, good luck, Thea Harris. What you got, baby? Oh no, Ooh. you got the trash okay. bag. Oh. Was this shuffled? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Okay, uh, so he's obliterated. Yeah, so Zane uh, suddenly thinks that this could actually be a pretty good avenue for uh, restarting his life. No, but see, we know that it's because he's got insurance or something. Like, we <laughs> know there is a fucking policy that just fluttered out. Yeah, exactly. No, it's, it's, it's in the rafters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sonorance <laughs> of my voice just went flip, 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 flip. Okay, there it so goes. so we're so. But basically, we have to okay, we have to pull an all nighter. I'm here. gonna grant mm -hmm. you a <gasps> plus two rolling. For what? That? And now what do I do with this? Just shuffle it That'll in? That'll get shuffled into your deck love and that. can be used in the future. Oh, I, I, I haven't seen that mechanic yeah. yet. I love it. So if it gets used, if that gets drawn on a future influence check, yeah. that'll give you plus uh, two, it'll give you additional benefits for that as well. I love that. That is so good. That's so good. All right, now. Thank you. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, have, you really feel like you've got something yes, here. No, but like I say, this is an all night thing, right? Luckily, I mean, we have a sun. Yes, exactly, exactly. And it sounds like there's a coffee phase this mm. evening, yes. which is going to be timely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, I mean, we, we basically. I can forage for bits and bobs as required. Yeah. The materials are missing. Yeah, and the bot. The bot. The well. bot can be mm -hmm. configured to get nuts, or like bolts, screws, nails. And we know that I have there. nuts, and I yeah. pull out acorns. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. Exactly. Yeah, it's true. Just acorns, various <laughs> hazelnuts. Yes, uh, exactly. We know that the mayor has a weakness. For a certain <clears throat> Applejack. I can set about creating more of this Applejack. I'm simply saying if ever we were to get a permit for a public event of this sort, oh. going the, you know, going the, the correct route. Mm. Exactly. Establishing the parade route to start. Nothing's worse than an unpermitted parade. Mm. Let me tell you from experience. Oh, I hadn't even considered that. Ooh. We have to ask for this, too. Unsanctioned street-level parades? No, mm -hmm. not since I was a child. Uh, but don't worry, I can handle that. If only I can get some, as some, much as you can make. Some of Mama's juice. Of Mama's juice. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Uh, Zane, where is your local compost heap? <laughs> uh, you looking for, like, an outhouse? Uh... Where kitchens potentially discard their vegetable matter that they foolishly think is waste, but personally I feel is not waste at all. No. Oh, you mean it's the treasure. street? Yes, treasure. I shall check the street. I've I've got you covered. I have a map here of five different places. All the most flavorsome in, in pits. Yeah. Where Compostables are discarded into Steaming the Steaming heaps. Yes. The pickiest eaters live here. It just <laughs> flash forward to Saga, like, why would anyone throw this away? And it's just like a bone. <laughs> yeah. And... Exactly. Well, I mean, I mean, my my fantasy scenario here is essentially we need a platform. We're going to need like these wooden axles. We need to make wheels. So you do know that there is a stage in town. Uh, it looks exactly like this. <gasps> oh, on account of there's a sticker for a stage. Wow. There is indeed. I have not unlocked that yet. Yeah. Wow. I'm excited. So. Let's go, look at Oh, and, and so optimally, I think we start there. And then as part of our processional, I mean, we're going to found a new, <coughs> we're going to found a new holiday mm -hmm. ritual for mm -hmm. Frosthaven. Mm -hmm. And that means year over year revenue. You know what I mean? And, and we're at the center of it. But I say we start at this stage, and so, and then, you know, you and Sonny will walk off of the stage onto this cart, 
perhaps at the at the zenith of the performance? This is interesting. Uh, I often find if you end at the stage, mm -hmm. that's one place for everyone to gather. Mm -hmm. They look one way and we look the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. we could do either. That's very flavorful. But here's, but I'm, I'm more than willing to hear opportunities. Well, I mean, my, my fantasy scenario is that we're up here, we leave, and then we're gone. That's a fair point. Right? I, I say we, every, all eyes are here. They're looking here. After this, they're milling around. They're jacked up on Mama's Juice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> are, we, are, are we set on calling it Mama's Juice? Well, I mean, I'm, listen, I would be, I'm open to hearing the other marketing ideas. Expert. Um, but what I'm saying is we, you step off as though stepping onto a cloud. Oh, I like what you're going with. And we yes. leave. Yes. Right from there, we take, uh, we take our storied cast mm -hmm. from the stage to the street. Mm -hmm. Let that message be heard. Mm -hmm. And then right out the gates. So an immersive, absolutely. Uh, every 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 person, all twelve of them who live in Frosthaven, uh, will be a part of this performance. Mm. Lady Sanderson died. She died. So it's only eleven. Yes. Okay. But well, you're right. The, the rest of them are they're they're here and they're going to enjoy it. She was a dear friend. Yes. Mm. Yes, a patron of the arts. I'm, I'm told. So where is the stage uh, in town, and then where is Zane's house? Yeah, so let's take a look here. Uh, right around here is Zane's house. Is Zane's hovel. Mm -hmm. And right around here is stage. Perfect, and then the gate right there. Yeah! So it's an L shape, mm -hmm. and then Audi. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, north. This is this yeah. is all such okay. So if this is north and that's west, so we do it at the evening. Exactly and the right. Sunsets. Exactly right. And I'm saying that we leave from here. This is the first part. Already, interest is going to be growing as we move mm -hmm. from here to the stage. You walk off. I take the I take the platform around the back. Move it to the side. You walk on. Perform. Mm -hmm. Inspire. Educate. You enter. Uh, you exit the the platform, and then. Your holy mission continues mm -hmm. uh, while we take Sunny out mm -hmm. and move on to the site. And we maybe show Sunny some rudimentary choreography to sell that. There's no question, and I think that Sunny Sunny is very lithe. Um, I mean, I, with limbs I, like those, I think that you can. I think that you can work with this. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? That kind of build. Mm -hmm. So this is happening. Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right, a couple things to note. There is a Savas who enjoys the arts that lives in town, uh -huh. uh, is one of the main proponents of that stage and getting uh, mm -hmm. theater mm -hmm. and the arts brought to this region. Well, I mean, we, that's, that's what we intend to do. Uh, it is now noon. Mm. The day before. So this, this just came up on the Chiron Mm -hmm. Time has already begun to tick down. Gasp. It's going to be very difficult, but the people are in need of some merriment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Their favorite establishment is nothing more than a smoking pile of jewels. Yes. Wealth beyond imagination. Yes. Lost me at the end there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so precious. So precious. So rich. Um, Absolutely. So, I mean, so essentially, I think we need to we need to divvy up the tasks here. Well, I'm down to give Mama some of her juice. All right. <laughs> well, I think yes. I think we can't lose there. I think that if you uh, bring the juice uh, to Sotha, I think you can make sure that the street portion of this is legitimized. I can communicate with this Savas patron of the arts, make sure that we can get a, a reasonable window there. Don't mention my name to him. Um, why, I mean, why, it's why, not why, why wouldn't why, why wouldn't I mention to a patron of the arts that we have a maestro among us in the in the company? Don't lead with it, is what I'm saying. I have a reputation among the lesser known. You know, there are people who they mm. wish they could have had the success that I ah. had. I am blinded by your humility. I had to. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Awfully yeah. kind. Yes, no, I can uh, But. <laughs> what I'm saying is some of these backwoods mm. theatrical mm. types. Say no more, say no more. 
Uh, absolutely. Let him think it's his idea. Uh, Pe- petty princes. So, guys, I hate to uh, interrupt this uh, <laughs> planning session. <laughs> uh, Sonny is not going to make it through the night in my house. What? Huh? Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed. Sonny's a little bit on the bright side. We got noon time right now. But if it starts getting around, I don't know, 3 or 4 p.m., this is going to look like a bonfire. How did you get him in here? There's a lot of questions. I understand people are asking for answers. <laughs> what really needs to happen... That was a great response. <laughs> game recognized game. <laughs> I think that we need to get this thing moving, like, right now. You didn't hear our... Mm, I don't know if you heard our great plan. Solstice Eve parade. Yes. <laughs> 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 Solstice, Always coming through. Solstice, solstice Eve Parade. Eve. It's a new... It's no a, one wants to celebrate Eve the solstice part. on yes. the solstice. And no, we not take, tired. We will so, take these right. counterfeit winkies. Uh, <coughs> we shall have Sunny reform them into small celestial bodies and create a tradition by which children gift these paltry bits to each other mm-hmm. as some form of goodwill. A new tradition for Frosthaven. Solstice Eve. Solstice Eve. Otherwise known as Leg Day. <laughs> Don't well, skip it. It's mostly legs, isn't it? <laughs> sure. Yes. All right, here. Okay, Good. So, so, we, so we need a truncated version of this. It, in, it is going to involve a parade. Yes. Uh, it's going to be pretty short. It's going to be on short notice, but Soth is going to be... Uh, trashed. Yes. We'll Three sheets to the sauce. wind. A sauce um, sofa. Yes, exactly. Easy. But it sounds like we don't need to talk to the Savas necessarily. We You're just call. we just gotta get from here to there, and we gotta get the word out. I can go to this stage manager's place and acquire a document that allows our use of the stage. And I remember they they sell apples there. You know, to throw at the bad performers. Not, why, I don't know this from experience. Why would one throw a perfectly good apple? <laughs> it's a strange custom. When it's one a, it's could, a wicked Humans custom. are bizarre. Consume it and then turn the core into liquid gold. I'm. These are questions so I've asked. So what is everyone doing? <laughs> okay, oh, this, we got great ideas. All right, now. Um, I help make hooch. We, we, we assist, <laughs> yes. the, the hooch is got. I give yes. hooch to lady because I'm so charming. Who's yeah, making so, hooch? Oh, here. I will assist yes. with the ho- hooch. I have a, a skill that is brewing, so uh, <gasps> I I fully, fully respect your capabilities to, to brew yourself, um, but if you desired any assistance, mm. I'm, I'm there for you. Mm. Yeah, this I is, this will is also perfect. collect, uh, yeah. help, Ref- help collect with mm-hmm. my... The refuse. Mm-hmm. With my contraption. I'll be frank, brewing only- hooch didn't make the list of uh, skill checks here, so we're gonna go with knowledge. Yeah. It's only refuse because people refuse to see its value. Mm-hmm. Such wisdom. Thank you. From so, so you're going to be assisting on the knowledge check. Okay. All right. Uh, so go ahead and flip, and then if you want to expend a background card, you can do so. Uh, yes. Oh, for your cool skill check. I got a three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, I will use... Uh, collector, uh, because I will be uh, using my yes, uh, your bot using my bot to uh, to to do the collection, which I have made um, for the purposes of of my own interest in in collection. Absolutely, but I've now repurposed it to help uh, in this so particular this is a, collection. That makes sense. As You're well. saying this is a pile of pluses. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we got a three. We're going to give a bonus from that. Uh, yes, it's a plus one. Or if you wanted to use mm-hmm. one of your own background cards to aid in this check, uh, this collector would become a plus two because it's, it's plus one for each additional thing that oh. is added. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's a, I think you're going in the pot. Yeah. yeah, I think then I'll use my weird trick and have more things well, yeah, come exactly. out of my mouth. You, you use it to yeah. maximize yeah. the storage. Some old juniper berries. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's a concerningly that weird trick. fermenting <laughs> in there. You gotta really pick those out. <laughs> yeah. In the yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah, they're back there. A little cur- blue, black current. Yeah. And it Whoa. says this is plus finesse divided by two rounded up. So I think that adds another two. Um, yes. Your yeah. Finesse is three. Three, yeah. 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 So, so this that's is pretty healthy. That's two, three, that's five. So we got a plus four. So I've, yeah, I've got a plus two on mine. Oh, okay. So that's seven. And then I have a plus two to knowledge. So nine. Nine. Oh, wow. Okay. You weren't going to so hit that threshold. Murder. That's great. 
Uh, well done. It turns out that hooch making is within your uh, repertoire. Yeah. And lo and behold, after some concerning cheek action, you have made a, a barrel of... Um, cheek activity. Yeah, of something that is definitely fermented and some people might drink, mm. depending on presentation. Cinnamon. Absolutely. So I would like to. So I'd like cinnamon. to use my brew skill just to like. Um, so this uh, I can make a potion mm. essentially that has whatever effect I want, as long as it's not like too powerful, as long as it's in, okay. in the range of normal, normal potions. So I just want this to. Uh, I mean, it's alcohol already. Yes, mm -hmm. it's but, already. But I just want to you know add that little extra spice to make uh, whoever drinks it just like a little extra compliant. Yeah, you yeah. You know, when it comes it's to uh, fulfilling yeah. any requests. That exactly, are made. Yeah. exactly. Right. You're putting the latte you do art. So? Yes, exactly. Yes. And you get a befuddling oh, mug. Oh, check you yes. out. Yes. There's yes, a yes, befuddling yes. mug. Now, our task yeah. is to teach <laughs> Sunny because we're gonna have to walk out of here with Sunny. Mm -hmm. Sunny is essentially the circus performer on the stilts. Yeah. Right? So I am going to observe yeah. while you teach Sunny a little bit of the, the sachet. Yeah, so we, 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 he can't stand up fully in the space, correct? Not, not here, no. No, he's, okay. he's gonna have to do his best. So. But we wanna teach him sort of how to walk and move among, because he's gonna have, he's gonna have to give yeah. Toys to children. So I'm doing some uh, like some warm up exercises and some some like <laughs> we're doing like some a little bit of this the isolations and then he tries to I'm imagining he tries to mimic a little too hard and cracks the edge of like a wall or something as so we decide not to do that. Yeah. And that I was one, like, all right, that, that one's done. We're You're gonna good. have to bring it back into the smaller space. I think we're going to have the to. Black box. So I'm like, I think what we're going to have to do. I haven't used this since I played with Gladys the Knight and her pips. <laughs> All right, it's a step, touch, step, step, touch, step, step, touch, step. And I'm trying to basically teach him to do a little bit of a hustle. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of this. Yeah, uh, yeah. flip me a finesse track. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, and then you'll finesse. sing, as, and, and then you will sing as this is happening. Oh! Dang, dog, okay. Sorry, bud. All right. Bro! Uh, so that's a six avec le trois, yeah, which is Sonny annoying. Sonny seems to be kind of getting into the flow Kind of the groove here. Yeah. 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 Do I see him doing a little You guys little are on the chin? same wavelength, yeah. yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me an athletics check as you're training Sonny here. Oh, I, that's not my event, so this is no, going to no, be a no. sad one. Remember, you can use backgrounds to uh, Oh, yeah, to you improve. might be able to drop one of these. <laughs> well, you do have formal education. I do have formal education, but I have to mention it. <laughs> you can do so now if you want. I mean, you did mention Gladys and her pips. I mean, this it's is all true. part of you. This is literally part of your training. When I was at Outerlochen, yeah, they taught us some incredible uh, tricks about how to just sort of loosen the body. Um, okay, so I am going to use formal education. That's uh, knowledge divided by two, rounded up. So what do I do? So with one. That? So, so it's a, you're oh, adding plus, that. It's just plus yeah. one. Yeah, copy that. So total is so yeah. five six. Doesn't sound great. No, that actually works. You see that uh, Sunny is definitely understanding what's going on here. It does take you some time. You guys are working together. There's yeah. there's a lot of intense back and forth, and certainly you're trying to keep a little bit of a distance here because this is a, a very bright object. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, but I'm delighted. Like a star. I'm yeah. de I'm delighted by it. Like I, I, it's like I, occasionally I have to close my mouth. <laughs> like I I mean I'm seeing I'm seeing the beginning of something special here in Frosthaven. And I'm just glad that I was there. So it is working. It is taking you some effort, though. So go ahead and expend one stamina by taking one of your cards and adding it to your discard pile. Oh, just any any card at all? Top card off the top. Oh, top card go off the top. Give it a shuffle. Oh, then... good grief. All right, yeah. let's shuffle because right. I did some evil here. But after yesterday's adventures, yeah. you know what that actually represents. All right, so the discard is Bewildering Instrumental. Mm -hmm. So, good so you have that. a choice. If you need oh. to keep that, you are welcome <laughs> to take one damage and choose the next card instead. Oh, so she's losing the card. Am oh, I, I'm sorry, Am you're I burning? Right. You're right, no, 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 you're just, burn just discarding. Discard? No, just you're totally discard. fine. Grazie. Okay. Totally fine. All clear, no worries. I am also but you don't an have it. avid yes. card burner. Yeah. So, it's true. I was prepared. <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah. T -t 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 All right. So this has brought us yes. to the same yeah. level where we're both. Orin. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, exactly. So you guys are completely dialed in. You're ready to go. Um, uh, I'm gonna take, um, uh, I'm gonna, uh, grab because there's a lot of boxes in here of 
these counterfeit Winkies, right? Oh yeah, tons of boxes. Absolutely. Ton and, and not just Winkies. There seems to be a lot of stuff. There, this is just floor to ceiling inventory of random projects, side hustles, that uh, all seem to be a bit of a dubious nature. Okay. Leggings, candles. Well, yeah, exactly. But what I'm saying is that what's what's great about this is that we can use these to catalyze the gift giving ritual. Essential oils. And here, it needs it needs a little bit. Mm. It needs a little zhuzh. Mm. Uh, so I'm gonna tie little knots of twine around each one, just to kind of spice it up. <laughs> um, and then uh, I am going to go out. I'm going to bring two of these boxes out to uh, the stage. Mm. Okay. And uh, I'm going to... Two boxes of Winkies? Two boxes. Well, yeah, yeah, just two. I mean, it, it, one box is probably Winkies and one box is probably random, other random odds so and ends. So one box of random odds and ends yeah, and one box exactly. of genuine Winkies. It, it, exactly. Right genuine, here. Genuine, authentic Winkies. Are they? No. Okay, I was like, <laughs> don't do it. That's not genuine, cool. authentic. Yeah. They, yeah. they do yeah. say on the side, genuine, authentic, no. yeah. and winky. Yeah, and I'm mad. Yeah. I'm mad about it. Um, so, but yeah, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring these out, and then I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to call out to the town of Frosthaven, like a crier, mm -hmm. um, and say, uh, and say, Frosthaven. They say the sun only rises once, but today. The sun shall rise twice. Um, and I say we, we have an, an incredible, we're turning an incredible new uh, chapter uh, here in Frost Haven. Inside the house, I shiver. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, and I say, but in order to catalyze this wondrous northern magic, uh, uh, young and old uh, must come and, and seize one of these gifts for later tonight. These gifts will be given to one another in something I'm calling Solstice Eve. <laughs> uh, go ahead and flip influence, and if there's any background you want to use, this is the time. Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say. Now I could, I could just straight up use loner because it's plus two if no one aids this check yes. and there's nobody here. Get them. So we'll grab that. Now come on. This is. This is this is when I flip the bad one. Okay, it's not amazing. That's a four. It's not plus your influence. Oh, it two two plus influence five. Okay, it's uh, not terrible. The citizenry of Frosthaven are a hardened. They're bunch. rough. They're rough yeah. folk. I mean, you know, I might have my my pay into. Yeah, uh, a second son, you know, might have been a little mm. uh, esoteric. Yeah, and and word definitely has gotten around that the last people that you guys hung out with uh, died oh. this morning. Oh, so that's certainly not Such helping. Such a harsh word, died. Who spread yeah. that around? Yeah, well, it wasn't them because you know they're they're yeah. dead. dead. They, they didn't have the opportunity, even Super if they had wanted weird. to. Yeah. Super weird how so word just, travels. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, so you do see some people are looking looking on. They look uh, more concerned than interested. <laughs> Uh, as you're heading up towards the stage, and uh, eventually you are just standing on the stage alone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shouting. Yeah. I, into yeah. the snow. That's hard. That's that's definitely hard. Um, I'm gonna sit at the edge of the stage a little bit. Now I never even talked to the Kick guy who owns feet. this. Yeah. No. No, huh? I didn't. Um, I didn't. <laughs> I'm kind of waiting. I'm I'm kind of hoping he shows up. Um, uh, but it's like in, an episode of Glee, you're just like, where's Mr. Shoot? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. But listen, uh, there's somebody that we have to ply. Yeah, no, so... It's the hard stuff. Once I feel like he's got it, he can he can take a rest. He can take five, mm -hmm. which will mean an indeterminate amount of time. Um, have you returned to our our rallying house, Avec La Hooch? I think last time you saw me while, like, relaxing in between this choreography session, you see Socket, like, running, rolling the barrel. Yeah, 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 yeah. In front of her, like, outside, like, taking it, it out I into the it. streets like a little gremlin. Yeah, so, so <laughs> I I come outside, and I'm like, where do I see you if I just peek my head out the door, like, close yeah. it closely behind me? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just, like, sitting on it, or? No, just running like a crazed animal through the streets. Socket, Socket, come back here! Socket! And I'm like, it's very much like, hey, hey, come on, just. 
I'm following slowly behind, <laughs> yeah. looking yeah. slightly exasperated. I but still like, don't know. You, so you're running around behind her? <laughs> and my yes. problem is, I still don't know. The thing is, is the bot behind you? Yes. We don't not Are get you along. Going somewhere or just? But I, yeah, that's the thing. Is like, like I don't know how to call just to you. To stay warm. I you refer to you in dog terms. Yeah. That. Uh-oh. He probably knows his sock is like a little drunk. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> we got tested. He's probably <laughs> drank some of the befuddling yes. brew. You oh. make it in your mouth. It's hard. Yeah, not to. yeah. yeah. But it, the first plan was to store some in there, and then yeah. you realized your mistake. <laughs> so, do I know if like there's a way to to summon you? Do you have? Is it literally just an appearance <laughs> thing, or do you have dog like things? I think. <laughs> <laughs> So like the best way to describe this is Socket's like Charlie from Always Sunny. Yes. And it's less of like a Socket just doesn't understand things and <laughs> instead of like a, you know, doesn't want to listen, but yeah. more like a just, just you can't read. Doesn't get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just yeah. illiterate. Very simple. Like this is a bastard man, this is a good man, you mm-hmm. know? Just very mm-hmm. simple like okay. that. So So is it a thing where I could like ply you with like a treat? <laughs> or Most likely, yeah, something? like cheese or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. I've definitely got I've definitely got some like uh hard tack or something. Yeah. Is that is that the vibe? A little biscuit. A- anything, honestly. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I've got cheese. I've got cheese <laughs> and a hard tack. You see the scampering, like stop. <laughs> Chip, 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 chip. I've got it. It's from the Silver Cities. It's that smooth stuff. Oh, but in return, I'd like the barrel. Remember, it's for it's for a good cause. It's gonna get sunny out of here. I would like to go with you for the delivery of the barrel so you that I may can. partake on the way. <laughs> Only a little bit. Because we gotta save some. We gotta save some for Satha. And you can have any. Once she's down for her nap, <laughs> you can have any that's left over. She's gonna be a lot of I'll throw of fun. in some jerky. I'll throw in some jerky. It's the stinky kind. Is this a good deal? <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of um, like straighten up like, yeah, well, it's good. Go. It's fucking good. This I is a great deal. I think you could negotiate for some nuts as well. Nuts. Not my nuts. <laughs> Never. Fine. And I pull out like an entire bag of like macadamias. <laughs> They're all br- Brazil nuts. It's a weird, it's a, it's a like, you know, it's this odd like thing I have where it's like, these are like, these are my magic the feather. No, this yeah. is my magic feather for like you got paid. the stamina. No, the truth is, I think you got paid in nuts. <laughs> I didn't have one of these shows. <laughs> I've been waiting for a good buyer for someone who cares about Brazil nuts. And so I'm like, how many nuts? Yeah, oh God. How many nuts? At, at least 10. This many. <laughs> yes, Fine. <all> pause. <laughs> Fine. And so I'm going to just like set it down on a nearby like box and then just like parcel out the shittiest little nuts I can find. They're all fucking great. They're 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 nice nuts. Oh yeah, there's these this is like those nice cherries. Beautiful. Like, this is like fuck mm. every one of them shining. And I'm handing my nuts and I'm like, fucking God, my nuts. Yes. This is happening? And so I've yeah. I've handed you the nuts and then and then I'm I'm taking I roll the barrel. Yeah, okay, okay. You got you got wrong out. All right. Stuff by this <laughs> raccoon dog. <laughs> Off to stop as we go. Good. The parade. <laughs> All right, so the three of you are heading off to Satha's. You go knock on the mayor's door. The mayor's uh, house is not much different than the other houses in the area. It is a little bit larger, but uh, mostly by virtue of just this is where she happened to move in versus any attempt at actual stature. Yeah. Um, The mayorship passes every so often, usually through the passing of the previous mayor. Which happens, I think, with some frequency. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to... Uh, like uh, attempt to usher socket behind me mm-hmm. and then have it in the front. Yeah. And then I'm going to put one leg up on it like fucking Captain Morgan and yeah. lean on it <laughs> and knock with the other hand. And then go, shh, shh, shh. just lean like this. Cool. You? Well, not just. Were you expecting someone else? <laughs> What's that under your uh, raised leg there? Oh. Your raised. <laughs> Which. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so you wanted some uh, some of the good stuff. We've labored 
This poor creature, and I'm ushering the socket, this poor creature <laughs> worked her Tail. fingers to the bone. Fingers as well, yes. Making the finest brew. What is this made of, exactly? Well, it's called... I forgot to ask earlier. It's Applejack, isn't it? It is made of a variety Be ready to of come in. organic matter in Lots various stages of... beautiful stages spices. Of the essence of certain of, flowers. It's all natural. It's all, it's organic, it's fermented. Flip influence. Made right here. <laughs> okay. It's organic. Fuck me, god damn it. No, this, this That's is a true. seven. No, you're killing it. Is yeah. that okay? Is a seven okay? Well, this is what she's flipping. You got a seven total? Seven total. Okay. Is it? She, she looks she like she's wavering here. Um, listen, I don't want to... I didn't want to say something before when there were all these other people, but you have the most incredible eyes. Flip influence. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to pull this off. This is off. still a pose, Eight. I want to be clear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need you to pull this off. And if I could just take just a moment of your time, you can throw me out as soon as we're done. As soon as we're done. I just wanted to bring you this gift, have a little chat, and just see who we are, who we could be. To each other. <laughs> what is it that you're proposing? It's something fun, actually. <laughs> well, I don't want to be too forward, but um, I would propose anything if it meant even a moment in your presence. You gotta reel it in, dude. <laughs> Flip influence. I'm gonna die. You gotta chill out. <laughs> yeah, See, girl. now. Yeah, now. Weird trick. We're doing this. Weird trick. So <laughs> finesse. It's a weird trick to try to influence. So it. that's gonna be uh, another fucking two. Yeah, it's not great. Well, so what? what is the weird trick? Yeah, what are you doing? I do a thing where I just lean and my nether's kind of. What? You hear a ba-dump. I'm sorry, your nethers are doing this? <laughs> you, hear a, you hear a heartbeat, but it's from down low. Oh boy. That is horrible. Oh. It's actually just a thing where I can pop my hip, hip in and out of the socket, but I make it sound like it's a thing. That is that is a weird trick. Mm. You're giving yourself like a dick pulse? <laughs> it worked in the Silver Cities. Oh boy. You would not believe. Yeesh. They're so tired, though. Uh. <laughs> That's horrible. I'm sorry. I showed up here as a fuckboy. I'm going to leave as a fuckboy. Okay, she's just going to take the barrel and kick you out. Yeah. Yeah. She is done with this. I think okay. at, the, at the That's okay. At the I, site? I, just, I just turn around. I'm like, and now she'll drink it without any assistance from me. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like pretending very, this is, this no. is very much, I'm like, it's exactly what I wanted. And then there's like a, <clears throat> no, later. no, no, here, but here's the best part. It's a befuddling brew. Barrel goes in. She drinks any of it, it's over. You wait five minutes. That's true. Then yeah. you knock on the front door and say, listen, I think we got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and but, then you do these with advantage. But what if I do guess. it? But what if I do so that? So you want to take advantage of her is what I'm hearing here. In no way. Mm -hmm. okay. In no way do I want to take advantage mm -hmm. of her. I'm talking do about I want to not force opening this my... door again. Let me do I, I want to force I, my way into your house? I will yeah. say it. She I didn't think... want to see no. you at the crater. She no. doesn't yeah. want to see you now. <laughs> she she wanted that barrel. She's got the barrel. I will think that... Socket does not want to be parted from the brew. Yeah. And so there's a possibility using the wild card yeah. that you notice when you look behind you, Socket is not there and is instead like <gasps> strapped to the oh my to God. the barrel yes. like a like a so like you, you are now in Like a Garfield house. fucking yes, like, like a no, no, like, no, no. And so she's rolling and there's a there's like a wump. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's and a soft the wump. To the side of the barrel. I was I was waiting for it to be the fucking like Flintstone thing where you hop in the window. <laughs> But oh, I love no, this as the koozie. Yeah. The koozie's so good. Yes. Wump. Wump. <laughs> you know what? Nothing's really made well here. Uh, All right, you well, do hear from inside the, the top of the barrel pop, and then uh, it gets quieter from there. Well, uh, let's let's hear your play, I guess. Yeah. After I feel like she, she's had a significant amount, I also, <laughs> drinking a thimble of my own booze, Finally reveal like myself. Hiding in her house. Yes. Yeah. Attached yeah. to the barrel. Attached, I've sexually harassed her. <laughs> and now there's a rat. Give me in her a house. finesse check. <laughs> okay. Do I get the plus one from the wild card on that? I would expect so. Okay. I hope so. Oh, that's a five. Well, she's got a, a three. Okay, so, so I have a two and a managed, three. Yeah. You so actually, actually six. Yeah. She does not notice you until you choose to reveal yourself. Yeah, I reveal myself. 
<laughs> like very Fast. proudly with like a little thimble. <laughs> yes, hello. What? What are you? What? What are you? What are you? What are you? What? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see how you enjoyed my brew. This is good. It's very good. Did you make this? I did. I did. You seem like a comely woman after your own fashion, and I have come to ask for your hand in assistance of Solstice Eve Parade. I'm sitting out there going, comely. What? Solstice Eve Parade. We are having difficulty getting this to catch on in the town. We're having a parade? Yes, you said that I could. I'm having a parade. <laughs> but you have to go and you have to tell everyone to attend. I'll tell them. <laughs> and your endorsement would mean a lot. Endorsed. Cosign. I come over to the door and unlock it. Mm -hmm. You hear like all the levers and I open it. It is done. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just... <laughs> okay. You got tooled. Yeah, no, no, I'm just sitting there like, yeah. <laughs> you got tooled by this raccoon dog. <laughs> I require the rest of your nuts. <laughs> we didn't agree to that, and I just keep, I start walking away. <laughs> you guys start heading back to Zane's place, and uh, it's not long before you hear uh, one of the alarm bells ringing at the side of town, one of the guard towers, oh, no. and then you hear what sounds like a very slurry Mayor Satha uh, <laughs> against the wishes of Captain Olmstead, who's trying to keep her from just throwing herself off the wall here, hey. shouting about how there's going to be a parade, yeah. and she made a parade, and she dorsed it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so good. Look I fucking love it. No, I no, love that a fucking is... rat got in. No, no, exactly. I was like, actually. No. Yeah, and so, but here in the back, so it's like when the rest of the group comes back to the house, uh, I have just been talking to this sun demon who <laughs> has no capacity to respond no, about you're, you're having a great conversation. Oh, no. We're, we're yeah. talking, I'm talking about yeah. all the different wikis. All the I just started <laughs> with like 001. And I, I'm just talking about all the different ones and all the all the misprints. You're at 3257 from 001. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, this one's actually, but this is, a lot of people think it's the same as the other one, but. Sunny is just soaking it all Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, like, to like, the extent like, that you're like, soaking up vitamin D, yeah, Sunny yeah. is soaking I'm, up I'm, this I'm, I'm, knowledge. Just, I'm just like sitting down like, like on the couch. Like, I mean, I, I probably, he's probably got like a couch or I'm sitting on a box of these fake wikis, mm -hmm. wikis. And I'm just going through and I'm like, honestly, this, and. Anybody can get into it. Like, you don't have to get into it as, as hard as I am. Like, anybody can start their collection, and they can just collect the ones that they like. You know what I mean? And so this this is this is where the conversation is mm -hmm, at when mm -hmm. the door opens uh, back into the house. All right, so you guys are back in. Mm -hmm. It is now right around 3 p.m. I am uh, trying and increasingly failing to act not... Not Very mad. embarrassed. Oh yeah, about how the earlier, <laughs> you how, how my the earlier part of my day went, and so I'm like, I just need a moment to. I'm going to go warm up, and then I'm just over in the corner going la la, like at an increasing la, <laughs> like there's the occasional like you know, yeah, I'm <clears throat> like it's bad. Now, the it's, voice is still in there somewhere, isn't it? It's got to be in here. <laughs> like it's wild. you're rummaging around You've in your psyche. You've never heard someone. Warm up that aggressively. Yeah, you're, you're warming up in a way that is cooling you down. Yeah. Right? It's... What is this beautiful sound I hear? You hear a voice from outside. Oh, hey. It's only me. This is the most beautiful sound I've ever heard. I know. <laughs> and you hear somebody starting to uh, try to open the front door oh. to oh. Zane's house. Ah. Okay, so nope. I'm going to rush nope. to the door and say, <sighs> and I'm all like fucked up as well. <laughs> Sheet. Demon. Yeah, so I'm just like, I just push my head on. As a reminder, she does not do much. No, no, no she doesn't do much, but I'm just like, hi. We'll, we'll stand in front of it as yeah. well. I'm going to start yeah, yeah. putting the, the, the boxes together yes, like boxes. In, a, in a single mm -hmm. pot, on a single file, but obviously light pours out from the edges. Yeah. Sunny yeah. is doing nothing to no. help or hinder no, for what no, it's worth. No. Uh, so yeah, I've pushed myself into the doorway. Yes, hello, hi. Yeah, you open the door and lo and behold, there is a uh, sub boss there wearing a black scarf. This Shit. is Eros, the local playwright, I see. who has uh, been beckoned by the sound of your voice. That you have some history with, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Do we? Yes. We do. Uh-oh. Josh Groblin? <laughs> Eros. 
How good to see you. I had not heard word that you were in my fair outpost. I had not told you. <laughs> I Can made I a point. Can I intuit if this is an X situation from looking at it? Uh, Can I attempt to intuit? There this? is a vibe to this, for sure. An energy? I may or may not have ghosted them. Oh! It's clear that I... With the use of an actual specter. Did not intend ever to no. talk to them again. No. Oh! And you thought you were safe. I thought I was safe. I thought I was safe. I really did think I could manage to get through here without ever touching this. Like, I thought if I could touch, like, find the stage might happen, maybe they'll see me, whatever, and then I'll just be gone, right? Right. Yeah. It's fine. But no. Yeah. No. Yeah. This is nightmare. Socket is a messy bitch who lives for the drama. So this is she's fine. like pouring, she's like getting the coffee out. Mm. Like. <laughs> it's time. It's, no, yeah. Yeah. Well, you just hold the cup out. I think coffee's yeah. gonna end up in it. You're eating rancid beans, you know? Yeah, something like that. And just cackling behind <laughs> so you. So Eros is a, a creature made of stone, yes. entirely of stone. Uh, mostly wearing this black scarf, although you do see that they uh, they seem to be a bit on the ostentatiously dressed side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, notably, you see that in their chest cav- cavity is um, a swirling light. Mm-hmm. Uh, are they taller or shorter than me? I didn't shorter, just... shorter, They're about shorter. five feet tall. Oh no! Okay, so it's just Ow. hi. <laughs> wow. Yes. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> They were tackling the entire time in the background. Yeah. How are you <laughs> doing? I have been doing splendidly. Oh. We have been having a wonderful time uh, educating the outposters about the world outside of these walls. Yes, and what a world it is. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. We just had a stage put up. <laughs> we had a uh, first performance. I hadn't heard. Yeah. Well, uh, really? I uh, how long have you been so in town busy. for? Oh, enough time. Just recently. Nine it's months. Been... <laughs> That's what? not very uh-huh. long. I've been so busy with projects. <laughs> not nine months. No, you know. You know. You've, been You've been in town throughout the entire winter? We couldn't even leave the gates. Not entirely in town. Pretty much in the town. We took. <laughs> <laughs> we were, yes. So I've been working. I've been picking up a few. I've I've been expanding. You know what? It's not important. We spent our spare time making snow winkies. It's true. I'm doing what? something new. I'm doing something new with myself. Um, really kind of expanding Josh things. But does I've winkies been, now. I've been given <laughs> an incredible opportunity. <laughs> and I'm really... Excited to see it through. Surely it's in furtherance of the arts. Of course. Have you heard about uh, Solstice Eve? I can infer from the title. Yes. (laughs) Yes, it's today, isn't it? (laughs) Isn't that interesting? Oh, your throaty laugh brings me back. (laughs) Yes. Yes, it... Oh, are you sweaty? <laughs> are you warm? Oh, I I'm actually warm. can't perspire. I forgot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, so we're going to be putting on a little. We would love to have you. What wouldn't we love to have? That's my dream. I, I, I can't be physically seen. Of course, I'm behind the box. Yeah, wouldn't we see? They'd love. To, we are having a parade. Uh, the the mayor has been uh be, be convinced of. It's great. Great to see you. Flip influence. <laughs> great to see you. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> hey! Oh, and that's so, your... It's the ro- cool that's a special... Rolling. That's so a rolling influence. over another card as okay. well. That's the cool special card. Okay. Nice. Wow, so that's okay. three plus... So it's six, seven, eight. Eros is 100% on board. Did it 110%. <laughs> Fucking... So excited. To be a part of this uh, celebration. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. How can I assist? Is there anything I can do? We no. You have the full power of my theater company. Fantastic. Um, I know Costumes. it's... Costumes. Costumes are a wonderful idea. A float. We require a float. I thought we had the float taken care of. No, we need the float. We need the float. We're going to need a float. Absolutely. I'll have Camilla start working on it immediately. Absolutely. And he rushes off. See you at sunset. Dude, that turned out great. Yeah. Dude, you have to be feeling like a million bucks. I am drenched in my own sweat. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's in it's character. Hard. Sokka is endlessly amused. It's yeah. hard times. I just do this like. 
All right, yes. But costumes, cart, there is obviously, there's a midway at the juncture on mm -hmm. the way out. I, I, I think that Solstice Eve is lit. Uh, I think it's on. I'm just like, I'll be behind the essential oils. And I go yeah. back to begin howling more warm ups. Yeah. <laughs> All right. God, it turned out great. <laughs> uh, a couple hours later, yes. to your tremendous surprise, up comes Eros along with a float. A little cart type as situation. As well as uh, two, <coughs> what are sort of akin to fire dancers. It looks like two folks that are, you know, doing some, some poi spinning. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, and uh, genuinely no one else. Fair enough. Okay, listen, these are people he was able to strong arm into it, and he was trying to look as good as he could, and but this is what he is had. there is certainly a float. That's 10% yes. of the population of this town <laughs> exactly. at this point. So. Exactly. And the mayor's endorsement is surely worth oh, yes. something. Absolutely. Yes. Once you get to the middle of leg of this, basically right up onto the, onto the float, um, I'm going to start bringing out boxes of the toys for distribution during mm -hmm. Solstice Eve. Mm -hmm. This is what you do on the holiday we made up 20 minutes ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows that. Um, and so, yeah, but of, but of course, it's like each, each, each box I remove and take out and set on there, I'm slowly revealing Sunny, who has not moved, I don't think, at no. all. Mm -hmm. Just continues to remain under the, under the sheet. Mm -hmm. So, were we to address <coughs> him as a sun, or is he just coming out as a sun demon? Yeah, exactly. So what perhaps, we... yeah, we could uh, construct some sort of spherical mm. apparatus. Perhaps just a halo. The sphere might be hard to do. The size of the head is monstrous. Well, I, it would I be no a offense. large sphere. Yes, it would be. It would be, a, it would be a substantial sphere. But I do like this. I mean, any any questions that someone might have might be resolved by perhaps using this sheet. And I, I get one of my daggers out, and then I, I fold it up, mm -hmm. fold it up to him, to you know, make a quick slit in the top, slit, slit, and then put it over the head. <gasps> and now it's a, now the it's a, a, and I say now it is a sacred raiment. Everybody loves raiment. <laughs> <laughs> and if we if we get a, a little helm, little sphere, little orb, up top, mm. I, I think I think we can pull this off. Because he's going to be shimmying. He's going to have. He's going to have. He's going to drop some of his moves up there's there. There's some. There's some ribbon. I think there's probably a length of ribbon we can do around the middle a little mm -hmm. bit. Get some yeah. sash. Cinch it. We love a good belt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is exactly right. I'm going to have you. Uh, boy, there's a lot going on here. Uh, let's what do. What do you want? Knowledge. <laughs> you want finesse? What do you want? Knowledge. Well, I mean no. finesse. Those of you who are dressing, I'm going to be looking for two finesse checks. Yep. Those of you who are trying to. Uh, Make this look like something else that's going to be a focus and an influence check. So all four of those checks are going to need to happen. You can distribute them as you see fit. Okay. Well, here, I'm going to dress. I'm going to dress in you, with finesse. Yeah. I think mine's going to be like a focus and influence. I think I'm going to try to finger paint runes and stuff onto oh, the yeah. raiment. I'm definitely just grabbing so objects. That it looks so, so, so I think that's like raiment. So you do finesse. the influence, and I'll do the focus. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to use my employee background. Um, this is going to reduce my check. Uh, I'm going to get a minus one on this check, but then I'm going to give this card to <gasps> you so you can oh, wow. enhance your check. Ooh. The background what a stuff nice is employee. the background stuff is neat. I, I think. love that. That's so cool. And I get to I can use that now. Yeah. So you'll okay. have a plus three, and I'll have a minus one. Okay. So that's a two plus a three. That's a five plus a three. It's an eight. And that's on the influence. On the influence, influence to check. make it look like it's actually Raymond. I'm okay. over here. Oh my! So I, uh, I have gotten an eight on my focus check, oh, even exactly. with the minus one. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh the... my! I've just fucking killed it. Shucks. <laughs> you know how it is. Gee no, whiz. Right it's just uh, what I do. Exactly. <laughs> so I am going to. Uh, I am part of the the dressing squad. Yeah, I've over entered here. into the four zone, and it sucks, and I hate it. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna think. I'm rattled. I uh, saw my ex and absolutely failed to cinch anything. <laughs> Except impressing it. <laughs> the sun demon is quite large, right? Yeah, ten feet tall. Absolutely. I think that I should be able to, as I'm as I'm manipulating this, in order to get things tucked around just right, I have to use my, tr my weird trick, which is the <gasps> fact that I'm triple jointed. 
Yes! And I have to hold the fabric just so mm -hmm. with a, a conglomeration of fingers that no longer looks like a person's hand mm -hmm. um, around the back. But Weird Trick does grant me plus three uh, to my check. My finesse it's a, it's also a zesty. Twisted effort there, but we'll take it. Also zesty. It's literally twisted. Um, so plus three, plus three, plus three, which is nine in aggregate. All right. Damn. Wow, you guys are doing great. Okay, and then what do we have over here? Four. No, I was trying to look for, <laughs> I was trying to look for what moon earring does, and I didn't write it down because I'm a fool and an, and a, a baby. Um, but I was looking it up on oh on an here object oh, oh, that and, was shared oh, with you, me. You were. I was trying to figure out because I was like, you can recover some something. Yeah. It can yeah. recover something, but I can't remember how much. It so. wouldn't let you recover. A... It wouldn't do a background. Yeah. No, right. no. Those Great. are special. Those, those are rest. Then forget what I was saying. No, it's a four. I'm four. just having a bad day. And that day. was a four on which check? Finesse. Finesse. Because it was just both of us were doing finesse, correct? Yeah. Fin oh, you you were both. Yeah, yeah. That's I right. thought, yeah, that finesse. was yep. Us two, finesse, and then yep. mm -hmm. those. Folk. All right. Well. And then and then crew. And folk. Right. Guy. And crew and folk. Mm -hmm. All right. So the overall goal here, I have your stats uh, that came from that. Uh, what is your goal? What's happening from here? Walk me through what you're doing. Oh, I mean, in. In, in truth, we'll also be walking through the town of, of Frost Haven. Surprise and delight. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tell me what you're doing. What's everybody yeah. <laughs> doing here? Oh, I mean, what's your goal? Well, that's what it is. Oh. I think uh, this uh, table, our goal is to make it look like this, like he's something that he's not. We're trying to make him make it look like this is a costume. Yeah, um, exactly. It was just a normal human. Yeah, in, in a costume. Yeah, house. like a stilty. It's a normal human that's radiating. Well, yeah, it, it, oh, exactly. it's just it's my, you know my special pyrotechnic skills. Yeah, via artistry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Julie Taymor, the quattrole, you know, artist. Yeah, we all know her. Yeah, very famous. Kind of, yeah, and uh, I worked also on like go putting... around, you know, spreading in the crowd like, uh, oh man, I really did a great job with that lighting. Yeah, yeah exactly. I think it, it turned, looks, out, it turned yeah. out exactly yeah. the way. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, how did they do yeah. that? <laughs> you and know, and I painted weird runes all over the raiment to make it look sacred and to make it look like it's an arcane trick we're using, like yeah. a mind trick, mm -hmm. and that it's magic runes on the on the yeah. Plain it's white sacred. Sheet. It's sacred, and I'm going to yeah. be out front. Uh, I'm just. I'm basically going to do the the redux of my prior town crier situation, mm -hmm. talking about this, but now that word and that news will be bolstered. Yeah, they're primed. Exactly, by uh, the mayor. And so I'm basically just like like the cow catcher prowl mm. of this, of this uh, situation that we're moving through. And then I think that you need to be right there on the stage. I think I'm between, yeah, that's the thing, is that effectively, as far as the parade processional goes, I am between the, uh, the prestige that we are setting up with um, with Sunny behind me, and then I'm using it as backlighting, and then I have my mm -hmm. poi dancers beside me, and uh, I'm assuming Eros somewhere is out there. Oh, you, <laughs> I, I think Eros is going to be staring the entire time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like primarily right just applauding the from the side. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. No, but, but he's going to manage to. He's going to applaud until you get like too far away, and then he's going to run to well, a new again, position. And then applaud again. <laughs> and then, exactly. And so I'm out here catching yes. him. They're making sure that um, they're making way. sure that yeah. Uh, Subtly, the, it, the, yeah, right. that our subtle techniques yeah. are brought across, and you are providing world class. I am potentially infernal entertainment. I am. I am singing uh, an extremely, uh, a weirdly uh, uh, funereal sounding uh, kind of song, just about life and how good it is that we have it. Yes, and so, but as a mechanical aspect, we're going to be taking the cart to the stage, they yes. will walk off, and they will basically continue their procession across the stage. Mm -hmm. yeah. We will move this Our around the back. Our is this. Exactly. And, this. Yeah. and then that last leg, we take it right out of town. Yeah. Thank you, Frost Haven, good night. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna stop on the stage for one thing, just like the Macy's Parade. One one number we do on the stage. And then you're out. And then we move on. All right. And we're out. So as you guys start progressing down, you look down the street to see uh, where Mayor, Mayor Satha is, mm -hmm. and you see outside her house, oh, no. Captain Olmstead is uh, barring the door, -faced? Oh, trying no. to prevent her from exiting. Oh, but no. she's just shouting out the window. She's going, That's my Dor brain. Dorst, I Dorst all of this. <laughs> it's the Dorst. It's the Dorst. And, and Captain Olmstead is just trying to save whatever remaining <laughs> dignity she has uh, and shove her back inside. As we pass her, can I work in like democracy works? <laughs> like 
<laughs> Absolutely. Uh, there are some townsfolk that have come out and are watching the procession. Uh, and pretty soon you've made your way over to the stage. Absolutely. And th these prizes, they're getting dished out right off of the stage. I mean, right right off of the cart and then right off of the stage. Like, it's presents for everybody. Now, are they official Winky merchandise? They are not. <laughs> but um, could can the expert collector identify it in a heartbeat? Absolutely. No, no, no not at all. So, you get up on this stage, and based on the excellent job that you've done in dressing Sunny, and the town <laughs> crying, and the distractions, uh, we're going to do a couple checks. And we'll Every see. now and then I remember that it's a demon. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> like, it's... That's this is genuinely... This is crazy. <laughs> That's what we have done. It. Now I see why you were laughing before. <laughs> it's this doing, is crazy. It's a demon doing a two step yeah. in a moo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, here anyway. Yeah, so, that so you've checks. somehow convinced people is like a <laughs> human normal. on stilts. Yeah, a that is just has radiating light. Yay. I supplied the process. Yay. It's all legit. Yeah, yeah. Th this is happening. Uh, all right, so we're going to do a series of checks. We're going to do wait. three checks for the crown. Uh, based on what you guys have done, they uh, are trying, to, if they exceed five on these checks, uh, there's going to be some inkling that something is going wrong here. Okay? Oh, for, oh they're checks. trying to penetrate the, our, our, our inner sanctum. Mm -hmm. okay. If they exceed five, it'll be an issue. Um, they have a bonus of two on this. Shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, they have a bonus of three on this. Okay, oh. so, they're, so they're doing very well. Fuck. There we go. Yeah. Ah, 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 no. Okay. Mm. Okay, well that one was bad. That one was worse. And finally, okay. All right, so two bad checks for us. Yeah. Two not ideal. Two not ideal. Uh, you see that some people in the crowd are starting to take a little bit of notice of Sunny. Of the demon? Yeah, of yeah. the demon that you have put on stage and then encouraged everyone to come see. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did uh, do that. I, I'm not sure we where the fault of that, that plan could have been. But we forgot that part where he has to be seen. But it looks great. All right, so are we doing counter? Checks so on this, well, or how well cool what's we happening right now is you've got there's there's not a huge crowd, but there are a handful of folks in the crowd, and somebody's finally shouting, "What? What is that? I, I possess him. <laughs> I can do possession. <laughs> she can do incredible magic." <laughs> I, I was I was just gonna say that I'm gonna find the people who are the loudest and assassinate. Them. <laughs> no, uh, no, I'll possess. No, no, I'll no, possess no, you possess him. him. Go right ahead. Okay. It says lost on this. What does that mean? It means you will lose a card to do this. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. which worth, card? Worthy. One of your uh, one of these. Cards. Yeah, I think oh, it's just goodness. a card you choose. Yeah. Okay, I, I lose submissive so. affliction. All right, and if you so choose, you could instead take one point of damage, and if you want to keep that one, and draw another card instead. No, that's okay. Okay, so what are you doing when you possess this person? When that man's voice goes, "Hey," <laughs> you just hear the cadence change. Yeah. <laughs> 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 socket takes over, yeah. and you see it socket like behind Orin, like focusing like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and I, 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 I mean, everyone's focus is elsewhere. It is on <laughs> yeah, those ten foot tall dancing Anybody demons. Else. Yeah, it's like it's just like that was a big part of the plan. Like pushing like that, and the guy's voice changes. He goes, hey. <laughs> I went to school with that man. Great to see how far his pyromancy has progressed. We were boys together in the country. Look, everyone, he is a brother to me. Uh, while she's doing this. Yeah, yeah, please. Um, I'm killing as I, many as I, I can. Standing in front of the stage, like at the front of the crowd, uh, I pull out my... Uh, my mists, misters. Uh huh. Uh, I've got some restorative mists, but I'm just going to use them. Just, just kind of mist the air Ooh. in front oh, of the stage. There we go. Just to like obscure it. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's not really clear, like how big he is or mm. exactly. how bright. It's, he it could is. be a trick of the light. All right. Yeah. yeah. Flip me an influence. <laughs> Uh, you get a focus uh, <laughs> plus two roll. I love it. That was pretty dope, that was honestly. Very good. <laughs> it was fresh. <laughs> so um, that's a four influence. Okay. I can also, yeah, use one of my skills. But you are using a skill. Uh, I'm going to have you use a stamina to make that happen. Okay. Uh, in addition to you're your waving your these sure, yeah. No, you're I'm, exhausted. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I have not moved uh, this but much. But lo and behold, it does kind of give enough. A little vibe. Yeah, uh, and well, certainly somebody shouting in a staccatic voice about how he <laughs> was a boy with this, <laughs> this monster. pyromancer 
is uh, having some influence over the crowd. <laughs> hey, well, that's great news. And lo and behold, uh, by the end, people are just applauding politely. Okay. This is an opportunity for a Christian. Uh, it is. You yeah. have to end quickly, though, because after 10 minutes, he knows that I possessed him. Okay, okay. Yeah. Gotta... We, 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 let's so, be out of town by so now. So once I'm done, I'm like... <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna do yeah. So this is my this is my absolute. The closer. tempo speeds up. This is my yeah yeah. So the tempo speeds up. I whip out my concertina, which what I whip out my concertina and I go for. I'm just trying to like that. You can see me for a moment like preparing and I'm doing this and I'm like, please, daddy, don't get drunk this solstice. I don't want to see my mama cry. Please, Daddy, don't get drunk <laughs> this I'm solstice. Like, what, no, we are getting gifts, and it is fine. <laughs> I'm just or in a, <laughs> And then I switch again to uh, I'm like, fuck. Oh, <laughs> it was just a joke. Ah, uh, <laughs> and so it's just I. It is a gift that is simple. It is a gift that is free. It is a gift that I will give from you to me. Oh, and when we find a gift that we like just right, we'll leave and then we'll go away. Goodbye, goodbye, oh, goodbye, yeah. goodbye. I, I, I'm wheeling. I'm pushing the cart over <laughs> yeah. to the other side. Right goodbye, around the back goodbye, of the stage. Goodbye, goodbye. You guys are readily able to get out the wall. I'm gonna give you a rolling plus one knowledge <laughs> card because now the audience knows too much. <laughs> it's gonna change the home dynamic. Um, absolutely. And so it's and so like on the way up, it was fun. On the way out, we're leaving. It's business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the tempo you guys of everything get out the gate. has increased. Yeah, this float is, uh, you know, the. the the pathway out mm-hmm. uh, it's is four increasingly... Larger, it's four larger carts, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. But the pathway out is increasingly less well-maintained, mm. and the float is starting to get stuck in the snow here. Sunny, to its credit, is still dancing as mm-hmm. best as it can. Uh, <laughs> until it hears otherwise, it's uh, it's going with the plan. Well, listen, until we need Sunny to come out and push this cart, mm-hmm. um, Sunny can continue to, to vibe. It's good. Sounds good. Uh, so we're are we out? Are we clear? Yeah, you guys are out. You <sighs> see the, the guard tower in the distance. Uh, Sunny is still dancing back and forth. It's just still. I, 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 That's listen, okay. If Sunny, it's fine if Sunny wants yeah. to do that. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. There's no problem with that. All right. And so this. And so this. Um, so I'm not going to tell Sunny to stop. Uh, Sunny is a, a fountain of energy. Yeah. Um, we love that. Yeah. I'm going to say. Literally. I'm going to say, Sunny, can you can you direct us? When we get to when we get to forks in the paths, can you point which way? Yeah, and Sunny uh, immediately steps down and starts sort of uh, stepping off uh, in a particular direction. Mm. Doesn't seem to acknowledge your request or statement. Yeah, but yeah. It seems like I think it's still going to work. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. This feels more like a change um, in direction. And is leaving the float behind. Yeah, I was just going to yeah. say still I'm gonna, just going to push the sure. I'm going to just push the float back. Uh, a little bit over, you know, over near a outcropping yeah. or a bush. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll mm-hmm. see what we can do on the way back. Yeah, no that's problem. Zeros is forward. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. not. Yeah, I mean that's true. Uh, it's later that evening. It's starting to get a little darker when finally Sunny uh, reaches an outcropping. Um, it, there's, oh. It's a, a cliff face that kind of extends upwards for a right. while, and uh, Sunny just comes to a complete stop. It's got some. It's, are we we're on a cliff that has like some elevation? Yeah, it seems to go up towards a, an outcropping that could have a bit of a viewpoint. Okay, well, this also might be a place where they. But when, when we looked at the dioramas, did it seem like they were on? Mm-hmm. It did seem to be, yeah, like, like a, a, on a on a uh, outcropping, mm-hmm. a jut, yep. like a, a, almost at the edge of a cliff. There, yeah. Oh, but but he won't he won't go. Interesting. Uh, we need to go check it out. I I'd like to be on vocal rest from now on. Yeah. So. Through the magic of cutting, we have gotten to a battle fully set up here. Wow. Here's how it looks. Exquisite. Yeah. Here's how it looks. There's a pathway that leads up to the top of this outcropping. That's At right. the top of the outcropping, there are four grave markers. Mm-hmm. Those are represented by these Bane condition tokens. Indeed. There are also two snow imps oh. who are playing around oh, these graves. Are they frolicking? Snips. They're having a good time. This has to mm. stop. Yeah, no good. They're having a good time. You guys are marching your way up. You do see that these four grave markers are all pretty unique. They have um, what looks to be items from the Sun Keeper's life yeah. embedded mm. beside them. So there's a tower shield, there's a sun shield, there's a war hammer, and there, actually I'm sorry, uh, there's a war hammer, and then over here, there's what seems to be a winky. 
Yeah, the most sacred object. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, I, I know where I'm going, and then I'm gonna leave. That's Good. it. <laughs> Good. So uh, typically, you would expect that these are each embedded down into the ground to uh, be closer to the Sun Keeper in death. Instead, you can see that these snow imps have unceremoniously pulled them up and have been throwing them around the area. So, I'm trash. mad IRL. Yeah. <laughs> It's just trash behavior. Desecrating graves. Yeah. All right, well. All right, so with that, we are going to go into combat. So for combat, you're going to select two cards oh, and yeah. play them as we would in normal Gloomhaven. And I'm going to select some monster AI cards that are going to be the monster's actions. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Yeah. I'm going to go at 64. Yes. 64. Okay, and I'll have you each just call out your... Um, your mystic numbers? Your mm -hmm. initiatives. 32. 64, 32. You add them together, right? <clears throat> no. You pick one of the two. Yeah. Pick yep. one of the two. Yeah, it's a tactical choice. You can go early or late. Whoa. Higher goes later, yeah. Okay. Uh, 61. 61. Because it took me a while to figure out higher goes later. It's I all good. You get to choose. It's yeah. part of the game. 20. 20. Yowza. Super zippy. Nice. All right. And the imps are going Zoom on. In. I'm zooming, y'all. 37. Gen Z. That's so, why I thought you were adding them together. No, that's no. the thing. Mm -mm. Sockets up first. What's it going to be? I scory. <laughs> and I move seven spaces. Holy mackerel. Because <laughs> I'm scurrying. Oh, you're throwing it in here. Oh, you're throwing it in here. Oh, and yeah. Then face up. Oh. I'm scurrying. And what scurry. does that mean? The uh, little bing? You're jumping as well. So you don't have oh. any restrictions on, on your movement. On your movement. So okay. Pinky here, so how many? Seven. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Where do you want to be? Ooh, Five. I think closer to the heirloom. Uh, and so right behind that. Yeah. Six, seven? Yeah. Okay, copy that. Boop. You see this dog bear <laughs> raccoon thing leap up over been. your back. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just tear assing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Probably leave some claw marks on your shoulders like a cat would <laughs> while I launch off and then I like run all the way forward. Josh Groblin on 32. Copy that. Um, uh, so you play both your cards. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. You play both your oh. cards. So then okay. your second thing is. And then I'm going to dart through. So I'm going to move over to the other side of him. Like just this. Yeah. And stab him. Nice. Right. For you one. You can't move through enemies. But well, you can, yeah. Can you move through these yeah. markers? Yep. Oh, okay. Through. So you can move like right there. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And, and then stab. Him. A stab. All one right. Big stab. Flip it. What do you got? Let's see what All you got. Right. Oh gosh. For a, a one. Yeah, one I think. Tone? Yeah. All right. You stab at that imp, and you can see it doesn't look pleased about the whole thing. Mm. It's rude. But it's still uh, still kind of cackling madly. Oh, yeah, they've been having a great time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Josh Groblin, what's up? Okie dokie. So I. I'm actually going to need some help reading this card. No problem. Um, so. I have here increased cadence, and I have tuning the outcome. Yeah. Uh, I am showing them to the camera, but now I'm going to ask you. Uh, this is a range four, correct? This here? So this is uh, hit to range four question mark? Yes. Yeah, so you, you can uh, muddle them, basically. Right, oh. So, but the hit two means I have a range of four on that hit. Right. All right, yeah. cool. And then this one has also a symbol I don't... Oh, no, it's not this. The, the lightning, this is just lightning with a range of three, correct? Yes. All right, so cool. Cursing. And I can't. This is another question specific to my class. If I wanted to use the just the generic hit or the generic run, I yeah. don't get to claim my clefs, correct? My right. notes. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Wanted to make sure. So the first thing I'm gonna do is with a range of four, I can't do shit. Uh, so I notice that there's stuff, and I go a little bit berserk. Uh, and I just sort of start flailing. I just start blasting. Uh, with a range of three, I can only go about there. And with a range of four, I can't go very far at all. So I pretty much am just like throwing knives and shit, but nothing hits anybody. <laughs> but that being said, I do collect two notes. One, two, treble clefts. Oh. So you only collect, can collect one per turn. No! No. What a lie! Dude, dude you had you had the whole thing dialed in. Oh, I was in. ready. Yeah, here, here. But, ah! but we like to be. It's fine, I'll just take one. We love to have one. And we love it to have feels, one. And it feels good. <laughs> this is why I'm fine. But right, yeah. no, 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 put those away. I do nothing. I put it away. I'm sad. Put those filthy things away. It's been a theme for you so since your you ex could, showed up. Yeah. You could use that bottom action. 
Oh, just, just to move? Like move up a bit. Just Let's pretend that I was yeah. slightly better than that. I stumbled yeah. forward too, and then I pretend that I meant to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you did a great Just job. like in real life. All right, now who goes next? Next up is the imps. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so they're going to get their turn. This one is going to move. It's the imp channel. It's the imp channel. This one's going to move to imp. W-I-M-P, wimp. And then this one is just going to attack, which is going to be a hit of... It could be worse. That's going to be only one damage to uh, socket over there. I'll take it. Mm-hmm. So I take just it turn. on the chin. Uh, you'll just mark down that you lost one. Oh, you're right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, you, because you... I can discard to avoid the damage. Yes, the yes, game. but for one damage. But I'm not doing. Yeah. That. Yeah. I think yeah. it's okay. Next up, Burge. What's it going to be? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I'm not the fastest person around, um, but I will move four. I mean, that's pretty good. That's uh, pretty zippy. That's, that's all I have in the tank. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't quite get me anywhere, but... And then my gas canister is empty. Um, for my other action, I just... I kind of just want to survey the area. Mm-hmm. Mostly this hex of the area. Um, so Which hex? I'm sorry. Uh, you know, the hex uh-huh. with, with the Winky. Mm-hmm. I just want to see... Uh, just take stock uh, of, of of life, of how pristine it is, um, what's maybe required to uh, get it into a pristine state. Yeah. It looks like the Winky was buried down to its head, so mm-hmm. just the head was sticking out as yeah. sort of the grave marker. Um, but lo and behold, these snow imps have grabbed at it. Uh, the area around it is certainly distressed. And the Winky, at the very it's least, is dirty. We're not quite sure what the condition is from there. It's not well, at all. But we do know that it's not mint. So. How about you? Okay. Who oh, has? All right. All right. Warren. It? It's me. All right. Well, we are going to move fast. Um, we're going to use our quick reflexes. I don't get to do. I don't, let's see. No, it's fine. I'm going to move one, two, three uh, with my swift, uh, the bottom of my swift bow. Nah, you know what? We're going to use the quick reef, the bottom of quick reflexes for three. Then we're going to move three more. Did I do it? I do. This imp here is four away. And I can shoot him with my swift bow. Oh wow! It's a very swift bow. You're telling me. Um, anyway, that's a th- that is an attack of three, and hmm. now it's time to miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know what? It was time. Just this imp is just quaking I'll, in its I'll, boots. I'll see myself out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's very difficult. You just to charge up, and you're so fast at firing that arrow off it. It not even close. All right, not well, even I'll just close. shuffle that back in, I guess. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is the end of the round. So everyone can select two more cards. We'll redo initiative and go from there. Okay. At the end of the round, you notice something unusual happen. Mm. Uh, this winky, uh, the ground underneath it seems to kind of shift this is what a I bit. Expected. Oh no! And lo and behold, mm. uh, a spirit of sorts in the shape of an old sun keeper seems to pop oh, up. No, I am yours. in trouble. And no, it's because it's kind of, yeah, you, you're, it's rough the times. Are possessed there. in any way? Yeah, or it's, does it seems have... indifferent to the oh, whole proceeding. Damn. It doesn't yeah. have like a winky head. No, no winky no, head. That was my original it's fear. It's not like its head is that, a winky. <laughs> that these desecrations <laughs> yeah. had somehow resulted in me having to kill a winky. Um, <laughs> Chucky the winky. Yeah. Everyone's greatest fear. We, yeah, exactly. All right now, it's time to put holes in these cats. Uh, question about skills. So the winky is still there. It's just under. Mm-hmm. It's yep. beneath. The okay. Yep. What I want to. I like that you are focused on the winky I, as well. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just trying to help my boss, mm-hmm. who in turn mm-hmm. will help you. Exactly. That's my entire focus. Um, skills. Do I use them instead of a card? When do I use a skill? When can I use a skill? If you're using it in combat, you'll need some justification for doing it. Sure. Uh, I was just curious. And it would be in place of a top or bottom action. 
Yes. Okay, cool. Thank cool. you. That was the Oh, question. you just basically just like replace the yes. top or bottom action of a card yeah. with the skills? Yes. Uh, are we calling numbers? Yep. Mm. Are you ready? Everyone ready? Wow. I'm going to try. Oh, yeah. This is going to be juice. Uh, I go at four. <clears throat> I have nine, and that makes me mad. I wanted to be first. <laughs> For no reason. I just wanted to be first. No, I, I can't wait to hear I can't wait to hear these Sock spell emerge. songs, dude. Uh, 71. Yeah. I'll go on 19. All right. So first up is Orin. It's me. All right. First, we're going to use. Let's see. I think we'll do it this way because there's no uh, dark element in currently infused. So we're going to use the six on the bottom of backstab. So I'll have this to use later. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're going to flanking strike, Ooh. which is three damage, but I'm going to add two if the target is adjacent to any of my allies, which he is. Uh, and now that I've shuffled, I guess there's every possibility that I can uh, I can miss again. Well, no, but I can get plus zero. Uh, so there is five coming in to this uh, this twisted Sunkeeper yeah. uh, apparition. So you kind of stab into it, and you, you feel your blade catch something, but it feels like it wiggles a bit. Aww. There's some sort of shielding that's uh, preventing some of that damage from getting clear through. It does look like it takes some damage, though. Listen, I'll, listen that's perfectly fine. I'll, I'll do some damage. Who's going next? I think it's me. Next up is oh, Josh you know? Roblin. Yeah. Okay. So sing I'm... your songs, Joshua. So. What I wanted, what I wanted was, uh, I wanted a two treble clef song, but mm -hmm. guess what? I got one treble clef song. Bewildering Perfect. instrumental. At the end of each of your turns, the enemy with the highest current hit point value suffers one, uh, one damage and gains muddle. Uh, and that's gonna use up my beautiful uh, Dark Twisted Fantasy here. And then I'm also gonna use this uh, four move because I wanna get onto the scene of the crime here. Mm. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna stand in front of you because I'm like, no. I love it. So now, does the bewildering <laughs> instrumental, here at the end of your turn, does the bewildering instrumental yes. take effect? It would, would it not? Uh, it so sure then seems like it. I get to hold this where, like, somewhere in my space yeah. Yeah. and put a little, probably a little counter of some sort on it. So everyone nearby is muddled? Is that how that goes? Uh, no. The enemy with the highest current hit point value suffers one damage mm -hmm. and gains, oh? Mm -hmm. uh? <clears throat> The official term for model. That's Nani. a problem. Nani. So yeah, direct damage is a bit of a problem for folks with shields like this, so that's fun. All right. Four. Okay. And then you would move that down one space. Oh! Ooh. It starts here. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's basically this, so is the first, this is the first measure of the song. So you, when, right. it, when it hit it, go like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Burge, okay. you are up next. Mm, okay. I like how the timing is in there. It's good. Uh, all right, so I uh, will move forward a bit more with my net shooter, uh, bottom of net shooter, to move three more. One, two, three. Then I will pull some uh, powder out of my bag and throw it up in the air. Pocket. And as it, better than pocket sands, as it, as it catches with the air, uh, there's a chemical reaction, a brilliant flash. Uh, blinds all of our foes. This is what we're talking oh. about. Hell yeah. Uh, so three enemies within three of me uh, will become stunned. Stunned? Yes. Stunned? Yes. Yes. I'm stunned. All, you also you stunned the Gloom stunned. Master. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. Fully stunned. We have a big opportunity here. So for those uh, keeping track at home, that means that this turn, uh, the monsters are effectively not going to do anything. <gasps> And then they take uh, the, is it each of your turns? So it's not at the end of the round, it's oh, no. each of the I, turns? I think it's each of your turns. Oh, my your turns? turns. Yes. Girl, Dude, all right. so you hit all I thought I was bam, bam, thank yes. you. Yes. You're in range I, I've also infused the light, mm -hmm. um, oh. which I hope that 
the deceased sun keepers appreciate. Mm-hmm. This, mm-hmm. These are vibes. Mm-hmm. I, I, I love what's happening. Mm-hmm. What did they teach you about uh, the school? You've infused <laughs> sunny vibes. All right. Well, uh, next up is the imps who are going to take a little break. Yeah, into your rest. And from there, it is Socket. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Next up is the living spirits, who also take a break, and then it's socket. <laughs> All right, it's socket. So, so what do you what do you got cooked up here? Okay, I'm gonna use the top half of pilfer, and I'm going to um, attack the sun keeper for two, and then grab that winky if I can, because mm. he doesn't have it equipped. <sighs> get winked. Yeah, yeah, get winked. All right, and let's then, see it. For the bottom half. Well, so first. Uh, oh yeah, flip your, flip your dice. Oh, down. I have to resolve that. Okay. Yeah. It's a plus zero. So a total of two. two. And that's against the sunkeeper. Sunkeeper. Mm. Yeah, but he's got that. He's got that shield. Yep. Yeah. So you, you kind of feel it hit, but it deflects right off. Just so passes when you through. Piercing mm-hmm. or. But does mm-hmm. she grab the wink? And then your other action is to grab the wink. It was no, part the, of that. Part of the pilfer. Yeah, you uh, take one pilfer. equipped item from the target. Uh. I'm gonna have you flip an athletics. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Ooh, Ooh. that's a five plus a one, six. Yeah, so you grab that winky straight out of the ground, a uh, little <laughs> puff of dirt comes up with it, mm-hmm. but you are now holding what appears to be a genuine, an authentic <gasps> winky. winky. Mm-hmm. Excellent. It's an umbrella sun hat winky. Wow, oh umbrella sun God. hat winky. Oh, Orin bites his finger. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> use the bottom half of my second card. It's got movement on it. You get I'm not here? gonna move yet, oh. just yet. I'm instead gonna try to pacify the spirit by lovingly cleaning off the winky and trying to this see if fresh. I can appeal to it. I love it. it. I yeah. love it. Appeal right. to that spirit. Yes, yes. In the yes. sun. Yeah. And he's oh yeah, that, that gleam. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any winky. background that can help with this? I have a demonic pact, so I feel like I know how to. Uh, listen, I know what demons like. <laughs> I know what okay. demons like. <laughs> <laughs> I know what they're into. You know what, though? Here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go use my wild card and give myself a plus one and infuse it with like light and like m- try to remind the sun keeper that it was like a fighter for good and like clean off the winky. Flip influence. This is this is getting good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is turning. This is turning out. So that's great. a five. Yeah, that's an eight. Hell yeah, that's a nine. Hell yeah. Nine. <laughs> oh, dude, you you are you are pulling off the tricks. <laughs> yeah. This sunkeeper looks at you and looks at the winky, and looks back at you, and just kind of gives a subtle <laughs> nod, and then just fades back you get down the, into you the get ground. You get the gif nod. Yeah. <laughs> so sunkeeper is gone. Well you're, done. You're roast these I imps did, now. Did. Dude, Josh is murdered it. openly. You it's murdered the most it. beautiful Dude, thing. This is, the it. song is already <laughs> yeah. starting to be written. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> That's my turn. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I pacified the spirit. That's the end of the round. So grab new but, cards. Yeah. And let's see. All right, if we can now murder these imps. <laughs> yeah, these, yeah. These yeah, these imps. I think is... if we get rid of the imps, right? Ideally, the, all the other sun keepers that might pop up, mm-hmm. we can just Nip mm-hmm. that in the bud. Mm-hmm. Just solve the problem. Okay, I'm ready. All right, go ahead and call them when you got them. Mm-hmm. Eight. You are real zippy. Yeah, I am busting them. I'm gonna do out. twelve. Whoa, okay. Mm. Let's just get out ahead of them, right? No, there was a lot of zip in these, which is nice. Tangy zip. It's mostly because the ones with the really good shit on them is like, oh, you're gonna burn it. <laughs> you're gonna burn it immediately. Mm, I will go uh, 20. Yeah. Okay. 20? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. What do you think? I'm gonna go 20 as well. All right, which of you has a second card that is faster? Mm, my second card is 50. I'm on 75, so it's All gonna right. be you. Take it away. All right, starting with Oren. I'm oh, sorry, it. starting with Josh Groban. Okay. What do you got, Josh? So, I'm going to take. So, I've got three movement plus jump. So, I can just get in there. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's fine. That's cool. I'm just going a one, a two, a three. I'm going to mm-hmm. grant one adjacent ally, one fist icon, which I'm assuming means attack. Retaliate. Retaliate. Oh, retaliate. So, if they get attacked. 
they, they deal some damage back. I'm gonna I'm gonna pat you gently on the back and say you did good. Um, and then I'm gonna provoke terror. Okay. <laughs> that's the next one. That's the wow. next one. Okay. The other shoe. Yes. So the Oshu uh, grants me a delicious bass clef. A delicious bass clef. Right. Uh, it looks like it says it pushes two, and I have a range of four, and then this uh, starburst sign. What does this imply, please? Uh, a stun. That's a stun? Yes. Cool. And I'm going to do that in a <laughs> template of a four little honeycombs. Now, <laughs> that back. is overkill. Okay. And before the soothing occurred, yeah. I thought, I'm, I'm playing this from the role playing perspective. No, mm-hmm. this isn't the correct min max moment. Yeah. But from a uh, perspective, I was going to smash that ghost. So I'm like, all right, I'm already alley in the oop. So <laughs> what I'm trying to do is, I'm, I'm saying, great job, buddy. And I want to destroy this motherfucker. Do you um, knock him into the tower shield? I would love to destroy this creature. And I actually, I can push two. And I actually, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to desecrate another goddamn oh, hey. grave. Yeah, true. Hell no. I want to push him this far. Uh, if I can. Pushing them where? I want to, if I can, if I succeed, I want to push them to here. Where are you standing? I am standing, oh, I can only push in this direction, correct? You can only push away from you. So yeah, as so long I'm as here. it's further from you, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, copy that. Yeah, I'm not somehow trying to do a push me pull you. Let's see if any of this works. That's a plus one. Uh, uh, do you need to flip an attack? Right, it's not an attack. There's it's not, it's just an attack. a push. That's not an attack? No, this cr- all this craziness Sent? just happens. It's not gated by a well, card at all. Excuse so he goes me. over there, you get a base clef, <laughs> and this sense. and this goblin is stunned. He is like, yuck. Anyway, cool. So that's what I did. Well, that imp is taking a little nap. He's having yeah. a break. But unfortunately, I got to burn the card because it was These imps cool are move. so shocked by you guys coming in here. Oh, yeah. They were having a great just, time. They were like partying. There was like some break. ghost stuff, but that was fine. Summer break. Yeah. They were having one of those cool <laughs> graveyard parties that the kids yeah. like. Spring, spring break. Spring break. Spring break. <laughs> yeah. All right. So All right. me. Oren, what do you got? I think. All right. Hey, I am going to... I have a, a card uh, here. Did you do your... <gasps> Shit. I also... Uh, Boyer has the highest free. hit point. I also have to use my Bewildering Instrumental, uh, making them suffer one one smash I'm and getting, gaining... Uh, I'm getting muddled. So you're just like... Huh. Okay. Playing a song while you're doing all this? Yeah. While you're like running and jumping? The entire time, I got inspired and I was like, she's out of my life. She's <laughs> out of my life. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's a problem. All right, yeah, here we yeah. go. So... Uh, so who ended up getting hit with that? Uh, Mr. Imp. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I'm going to bring that imp a little closer. Oh. With my smoke bomb, bottom half. That's not how I'm going to control <laughs> one adjacent enemy and move them right by me. It's a smoke so bomb you're full of rubber not bands. currently adjacent to anybody. Gasp. Oh. But you... Oh, the move. But you move first. Oh, yeah, but yeah. I move here. So I'll just move closer to him. So just one dude? Yeah. Dude. I, I mess that up. Mm. Um, but the sinister opportunity <gasps> uh, uh, presents itself. And so I can add one. To, you know what? This is wrong. I, I I did this super wrong. How? What would you like mm. to do instead? Don't happening? worry. I'm going to do this instead. I messed up. So I'm going to go over there. Yeah, we're gonna go to where you are now. Exactly, yeah. and then because this will make my sinister opportunity even more sinister. Oh boy! Because it starts out at three, and I add one if the target is adjacent to any allies, and then I add another one if it's adjacent to none of its allies. So now it's five attack. That is flip so it. silent. Now knife. let me flip a card, dude. This is silent. This is silent knife holy knife. Come on, miss. You poor thing. You have to flip cards. I'm sorry. Oh no! Negative I'm one. Sorry. So total of four. Ick. Which murders him. Yeah, I mean, it's still, it's still absolutely good. murders him. But I, but I feel bad about it. You want to be. This imp is just like pre-ray. chuckling all the way through yeah, this yeah. knife <laughs> going into. It. He's looking down at this. He's looking down at a mortal wound. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, all right. So that worked out great. This, this imp, this other imp is stunned, and it's. It's not going well. So the other imp is not doing anything. So we're right on to Burge. Mm. Okay. You got any more fascinating devices you'd like to show off? Um, e- yes. <laughs> I can't quite uh, reach that imp. I would love to just maybe like push him off the outcropping, but mm. uh, I don't have the movement for that. <sighs> um, but I do want. Uh, anyway, uh, yes. Yeah, so I will uh, move a little closer. Don't be shy. Uh, and then you, you say he's already gone. And so he's currently not stunned. 
That is correct. He's no longer okay. stunned. Well, I am going to stun him again. <laughs> With a stun shot. <laughs> I love it. This is just, so, just so the folks at home know, I do have cards back here that can do things. And, uh, uh, they're, we they're, promise you. They're creatures. So I'll just pull out a very small gun. Just uh, shoot a little little needle. Uh, so small. Right there in the his really chest. Cute. He's a danger butler. Uh, yeah. The whole, yes, he, he just... He's takes taking, another nap. Taking a, okay, good. God damn pepper He wakes box. up. He would. <laughs> so that's, that's shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to. I want you to picture what this guy's life is like. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he opens his eyes, somebody hits him with something that knocks him out again. <laughs> it's been. It's been a real nightmare. Uh, so, so is that? Uh, is okay. that? Yes, that's Birch. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna activate the top half of mind. It's mind's weakness, which is an mm. augment. So that's like an ongoing effect I get until I activate another augment. Um, probably should have moved first yes, and then done that because I get an attack. Okay, just let me, let me take so that you back. Can do it, you can do this in any I'm going to do the bottom half of Animal Connection and move, I think, like on that side. This way? The one over from like there. Like so? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copy. Yeah, that way there's the most room. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I'm going to do the top half of Mind's Weakness. Um... Does does this mean that when I attack again, I can control the target and make them attack someone for two? Uh, yes. Yeah. So first you get a, a persistent ability to just add mm -hmm. plus one to all your melee attacks. Then you yes. perform an attack two, which becomes an attack three because of the, okay. the, the bonus. Mm -hmm. And then that target, you then can have them attack something else. Mm -hmm. That's but wicked. Because yeah. the... Well, for one, the imp is stunned, so like he can't he perform can't any attack attacks. Anybody. Also, he has also no he has no yeah. he also we have yeah. no allies, so he's alone in the world. And That's still okay. I'm still gonna attack him for two. As you should flip that for card. Three. Three. Yeah. For three, for three, it becomes a two, which is enough. Yeah. he drops. <laughs> he's a he's he's very small. That's the end of him. We are out of combat. Oh, Congratulations! Really? <laughs> we beat it. There are four grave sites here. What are you guys doing? This is the worst. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to Orin Stavros. Go on. <laughs> this is the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. Mm. I have to ask for the. I have to ask for the, Winky. Oh, I. Do not have it. You don't see it on my person. It's in your cheek. Isn't it? <laughs> I have turned around and walked away. So we've we've pacified that spirit. That spirit gave us the nod. I think it's okay to take that winky as long as we leave the rest. Open your mouth. Suck it. Suck it. Open your mouth. I want to see what's in there. Suck it. I want to see it. But the, just let me just let me see but, what's in your mouth. But the ghost. Yeah. The ghost stop attacking. Yeah. Cause it want. Yeah. It, it would. Yeah. <laughs> and I pull it out. It's like shiny clean now, restored yeah. perfectly. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. Exactly. It's it's um it's anodized. Clean, yeah. Cleaned yeah. in my mouth. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm gonna cough out some I'm gonna, dirt. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Take it, and I'm just—I'm gonna look at it. Is—it's—it's it's everything I hoped. Oh, it is. Like it's basically perfect. It's—it it is, is the immaculate. rarest of the rare. It has been preserved here, and through some supernatural power, it seems as good as the day it was buried. Sun hat, umbrella, winky. I know. Listen, it's. I'm gonna look off the edge of this outcropping. Like the moon is right overhead, and I'm, I look down at the winky, and I say, "I'll come see you sometimes." And I'm gonna set it back down, but I know that it has to be closer, in order for the sacred aspect of this place to work. And so, I push it down, down into the earth. And I gather the earth back over it up to up to its neck where it was before. Um, and then I look back the I look back 
down the path. I mean, I, there's a glowing giant demonic figure like just outside the radius of this place. And I, I say, come on. And you watch as Sunny uh, marches its way up in beautiful flowing raiments. Mm. This is crazy. Into, this is a crazy image. Into the middle of this uh, outcropping and kind of throws out his hands a bit and the other graves settle themselves and you can see that uh, a war hammer writes itself and kind of embeds oh, itself it, deeper it, they, they in the go ground. where they were. Mm. Yeah. And during his moral quandary, I have, of course, <laughs> have, have polished all of the other um, <laughs> It's all it's all so executed. The, yeah, yeah, I'm flipping through a book that's got all of the like it's like it basically has all of my rep and I'm trying to find a piece from my binder mm -hmm. that's appropriate to the situation. Yeah. yeah. You got and something? I, and, well, yeah. as he's setting it to rights, uh like I am I am bringing up just like <laughs> some I spied a sun keeper upon this dark outcrop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And while you're while you're singing it, this is my work music. I'm picking up imps I'm shouldering them, and I'm just throwing them off the edge <laughs> mm -hmm. of the cliff. I don't, we don't need these around here. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, this whole place seems to be lit up. The sun is now setting. It's mm -hmm. it's becoming late in the day, but despite sunny, yeah, radiating, it does seem like the graves themselves are happy with what you've done here. Mm. Nice. So there is a, a moment of peace. Uh, to the extent that sun is infused, you feel this warmth oh, throughout yeah. the landscape. Yeah. It, uh, it's waning. I mean, obviously, it's waning now. Yes, yeah. but it is a beautiful moment, and finally the sun sets, and Sunny, without another word, just heads off. Dude, that was really lovely. That was really lovely. That was genuinely a lovely moment. Yeah. Like <laughs> Josh just like turns around. to turns <laughs> turns to Orin and says, "I don't think I can go back. I I literally don't think I can go back." <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't think it's gonna? You don't think it's gonna work out between? I don't think any you of us can arrows? go back. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure none of us can go back. Yeah, let's just run down the rap sheet here. So you got the uh, mayor drunk. I did do that. Yeah. So she's gonna definitely figure that one out. Yes. Uh, then you mind controlled a townsperson. Yes. They're gonna figure that one out uh, probably like four hours ago. Yeah. And uh, you duped Eros and stole his float. Uh, True. He gave it costumes. willingly. Yeah, I mean, it's part. Of, it's just our way of communicating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's carts, just carts, how our relationship carts, works. Carts are his love language. Yes, <laughs> acts of cart service. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only person whose potential good graces you might have been in is Zane, and, and he's not a good person. <laughs> well, well, and uh, you well, did steal all of his counterfeit winkies. Well, and we also stole his True. his sun them. demon. Yeah, true, we did. Steal <laughs> you did steal. He's his, not going back his there. One worker. No. He walked <laughs> off. He didn't yeah, walk back like, to Zane's. Do you think he'll adopt us? <laughs> okay, so so uh, brigandry, the open road. I don't think there's another option. <laughs> so with that, you guys start making your long way back down to somewhere other than Frosthaven. <laughs> and that's where we'll close it out. Dude, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you guys for playing, that was great. <laughs> no, because I had had a it chance a to trip. play at, um, at Unplugged, mm. and it's just, it's much farther along now. It is, I completely get it. It, this actually, this completely works. And I think especially like being able to play Gloomhaven, Frosthaven type combat, yeah. With the ability to have story, mm -hmm. like what, to thumb the scale yeah. and do story narrative stuff yeah. inside it too is bonkers. Yeah, I like the addition of, honestly, I love the rolling because it makes me feel like there is both more and less chaos. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I like that if, again, I feel like I have a very built out character despite being level one and it's my first time playing this yeah, system. Oh no, you do so much. Characters, I feel like I'm one so character deep already. <laughs> Our martial paragons. Yeah, I got yeah. so yeah. much shit ready to go. Yeah. Well, and the best part is like the suit singer is obviously a cool character. Yeah. Mechanically it's a cool character. Yeah. Then you take it into the RPG yeah. and now, now it's a template for what, you to invest in. Yeah, what I love is that 
this bard did not have to be horny. I definitely made him horny. <laughs> but like, this is a bard that can just be a really fucking cool bard. You could just have- What a cool system. You can have a bard that isn't horny. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, <laughs> Imagine not every game, a bard. Not every game allows <laughs> No, it. but like, that's the thing is like, it gives you the notes. I would not have to be a singing human, a person who no. know about that, no. to know how to craft a song and feel like I could ably do this. Playing it makes, like, the music is essentially part of the cards. And this yeah. is the crazy part. Is that right on the other side of this character sheet? Yeah. Here is your perks, and then this is how you customize that deck you like so much. So, <laughs> so what happens? Like, how do I earn in the role playing game? How do yeah. I earn my perks so that I can customize my my deck and my yeah. character? Yeah. Uh, right. So, I mean, each time you level up, right? So, at the end of this day, he would probably assign us some amount of experience. Okay, so traditionally. Yeah, yeah, traditional, and then. Uh, and would so we generate character experience during combat like we normally would? No. So yeah, okay, it, it's all based on the GM. Sure. Um, yeah. So you're not having to track that. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In combat, or but you would undoubtedly level up after this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man. And so then, yeah, each time you level up, you get one of your perks to modify your deck. Okay. That's so cool. But yeah, all right. I'm famously not a person who can handle a game within a game. Uh, yeah, but you I, did. But I did, and what I'm saying is, like, I handled a type of game within a game. Yeah. With uh, with other things, but with this specifically, I like the fact that um, it didn't feel like I had to already be good at a, a type of game, right? It felt like I could just come into this as a complete neophyte well, and not and be overwhelmed, and you know. And the classes have custom character sheets, so all yes. the perks are unique. All the perks and are unique. You have a note track on the character sheet yeah. to track your notes. It doesn't feel like I, I have to have already read three separate books in no. order to get good. So no, no, no. I like it. You could. This is like you could go sideways right from the home game yeah. of one of the other ones into something You guys more. should consider, you know, <laughs> designing games professionally. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> you know? I, I don't know. I, I think, feel like you can really do it. I think you kids are onto <laughs> something. Yeah. It's good to hear. Just Thanks. look into it. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite part was that, like, it, the turn order is so satisfying. Yeah. Because, and, like, and you're involved at every level instead of, like, well, I did what I'm going to do. I guess I'll sit here for 30 minutes, which I'm not going to name the games, but there are some games that are like that. <laughs> it really is. Like, the combat's actually, like, really snappy. Mm -hmm. And I love that, like, as things change, just like the video game, which is the only version of the game I've played, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is pretty close. You can like switch on the fly, like whether totally. it's that you might go in thinking, "Oh, I'm gonna do the top half it's of this card, the bottom half round. of this card." No, it's but a then different something round than changes. You yeah, and then you're like, "Okay, never mind. I'm gonna do this." Because sometimes, same thing with like other games, like something your ally does might throw off what you were oh, gonna do. Totally. So, so much of like traditional RPGs being like, "Well, if you're gonna kill him, then I guess what I'll do is maybe you know what? Maybe let me." Hold your action and, and let that me just go for adds to these and it just minutes. adds yeah. to it. And yeah. this is like so much better because I'm like, okay, you stunned him. I'm gonna just use the top of this and use yep. the bottom of this and flip it around. Yeah. And Same so thing you, in the RP like, stuff too. It's so fast. Yeah, yes. like the RP stuff, like being able to flip this and be like, oh, nice, I did good. And then also being like, well, that was a wet fart. And yeah. I don't know. It feel it, it feels fun because then I also don't have to consult three separate tabulation lists in mm -hmm. order to determine whether I can actually continue. But also, you got the custom for doing cool stuff. Yes. You got the custom card that went inside the deck. I love that uh, an inspiration can occur to you as a specific thing. Well, I like that it's not just. Use it as you will, my friend. It's yeah. more like, here you go. You're just going to continue being intelligent because you were smart once. And the monster, <laughs> yeah. and the idea that the monster deck now is like a gameplay yes. thing mm -hmm. for the person who's running the game. Yeah, yeah. you're That's not just juice. <laughs> it's juice. All right, all right, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I did it. That's it. I, I, I could well done, go folks. on. I could go on for a while, but <laughs> thank you very much for letting us play it uh, in this state. It's really, really nice. Thank yeah, you. I, I had. I mean. This was, this was great. It turned out good. Great time for, for everyone, so <laughs> I, I'm super happy too, and thank you all for oh, playing. It's our great pleasure.